Real life street star. Everybody start clapping right now. Flacco in the building. Yeah, man, come on, man. Man, what's going on, brother? Listen, man, listen. I came to tap with my guys, bro, because, yo, I heard, bro, everybody I asked about y'all, bro, say nothing but nice things about y'all, man. Brick, baby, everybody, man. Feel me, man? Right? Now, I came here to, you know, to, again, to like, tell the truth. Okay. The you, whole you, truth. You feel me? Okay. Right? You feel me, man? So, you know, uh, bring some straightening to this shit, man. Come on now, bro. Listen, bro, because I done seen a lot of niggas on this platform. Feel me? Like, like bro, doing a whole lot of capping. You feel oh, me? Oh, really? Like, really? Who bro, do you listen. think? Rank the top cappers one through five. So first off, like the one capper who's on my mind, DJ U came up here talking about that black power shit. You feel me, man? Like, bro, that nigga came in like talking about that save the children black power shit, right? So if you want that black, if you want that black power shit, hold on, you finna come in this whole like Cat Williams? Is this what's going on? Nah, 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 Right now, nah, but look. So, if you're talking that black power shit, you're supposed to live that black power shit in every asset of your life, right? For sure. So, boom. So, I was tapped into, into you when he had probably like 20,000 subs, right? Okay. Invited him and in Ono Jumper when nobody knew who he was, right? Right. Now, it ain't work out, right? But, but so, me and him finally link up, I probably like when like, he hit like 100K, right? Now, we linked up through like this guy called Big Folks. Okay. So, he. I guess when he invited you and he said, yo, come to LA with me yeah. and meet some no jumper niggas, right? So, and he came down to, again, bro, like, again, right? Like, I have a huge studio, right? Again, bro, this, not, again, this is some good shit, right? This is your studio, this yeah. outside of no jumper. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah right? Congratulations. Again, yeah. Some, some good shit. So he came through, I'm talking about, bro, I embraced him, I showed this nigga love, I hugged the nigga, right? So then I look up six months later, I walk into No Jumper and he's there. Bro, I'm excited, bro. Nigga, bro, we talking, talk, right? I'm, I'm, I'm hugging him, I'm fucking with him, right? Just for me to find out this coon was talking about me like a dog to the white man minutes before hugging me at No Jumper and me doing a drop for this nigga, right? So I didn't find out though until the interview came out. And this nigga said, yo, big folks told me that I was going to go meet some no jumper niggas. Again, he's talking to Adam now, right? And he said, yo, he told me I was going to meet some no jumper niggas. I walked in and I seen Flacco. I'm like, why am I, like, right? again, hey, this coon told the white man, yo, why did I come from all the way from like Chicago and interrupt my schedule to see Flacco? I thought I was coming to see you, Masa. I said, nah, come on, bro. Like, how you talking that black power shit, right? And you, will, again, you, you are a fellow black man. We in the same industry, right? I'm expecting, yo, we on the same accord. We supposed to value each other shit, right? Right. For you to go on that platform that I work at, you feel me, right? Right. But it's past that, though, right? It's the new media, and then there's the infrastructure that currently exists. Like, for example, Adam, Vlad, academics say cheese. Right. They are an established infrastructure right now, right? We right. are new media. So you as a black man, you come on real life production and convince these niggas that you the most pro-black save the kids nigga while going on no jumper and, and talking about, man, I flew all the way from, from a Chicago and he brought me to fucking Flacco. But, I, but, Flacco. but, but Flacco, this is why I gotta this is why I gotta ask you a question, sure. right? Because in this line of media that we do, right? Yeah. We all do it, right? For sure. We all kind of we might all struggle with our morality because yeah. we're, we gossip at the end of the day, right? We, we break shit down. We talk about other people. We bring the other people's name up. In essence, that's messy. That's, sure. that's not, quote, unquote, pro-black. So sure. what do you say to that to where he's really doing everything what we all do? No, listen. So morals and ethics are two different things, right? Okay, break it down. Morals is individualistic by your moral code. So, for example, if you think that killing niggas and blah, blah, if, if, if that's morally... Like intact for you, then you gotta stick with that, right? Right. I don't listen. I can respect the morally bankrupt nigga, but I can't respect no fucking hypocrite. Mm -hmm. So, right. So, look. If this nigga tells me that his moral code is black power, stick together, save the kids, and then you go and sit down in front of the blue eyed white man, again, he handsome, right? Now, again, I don't know if these niggas, nigga. <laughs> now, now, hey, listen, bro. 
I don't know if these niggas sit down and look in that man's blue eyes and they get enchanted, but to be pro-black and sit in front of that white man and disparage my brand and what I got going on, that's crazy, bro. Why does that seem to happen to you a lot? Why do people seem to, you seem to be like the target at No Jumper for whatever reason. Is it because of your style? Is it because you're one of the most popular people up there? What do you think it is? Bro, it's because I don't play ball, right? Like, I, I can openly say, yo, I hate these rappy rap ass niggas. Mm. I, I wish nothing but death and jail on no gangster rapper mm. and still walk up there and see these quote unquote gangster rappers and be good, right? Listen, these niggas, right? Listen, bro, like for example, right? If you're like, why I feel like, especially, you know, like, 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 especially like, especially like the quote unquote, like the street niggas, right? They dislike me because I'm truly who they want to be, right? I'm honest. I can tell and rap with no consequences, right? And these niggas really want to beat me. Listen, bro, if these niggas really like live their truth, bro, we wouldn't need 20, 30 years to find out that you told, right? Or to find out that nah, bro, like you ain't no real nigga. Like, look, here, bro, for example, like Gucci Mane, right? Bro, we found out 20 years later that he ain't no gangster, that he ain't no killer, right? This nigga convinced us for 20 plus years that I was the killer. Some fuck nigga went in my crib, nigga, bro. I took out my pistol, nigga, and gun them niggas down. We made this nigga a shrine in hip hop as the realest nigga ever. And we found out that, nah, nigga, you ain't do shit, that your brother popped that gun, right? So these niggas are frauds, bro. Like, they have an issue with being them true self. So when they see me being my true self, you know, they you, 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 so, you talking to me. So here's the thing, right? Because mm -hmm. I always think of hip hop is. WWF. We like the we like the personas. We like the facade. Hell man. nah. Why we why because here's my niggas, man. But see, here's my thing though. If you was really a nigga out here spinning, shooting through your sure. people granny houses and killing kids, yeah. nigga, you deserve whatever you get. But if you're just a nigga that's clever and selling a story, I can enjoy that. Nah, hell nah. And here's why I say hell nah, right? And that's why to this day, I say, fuck jail. I wish nothing but death and on a nigga like, like a future. Fuck that. I wish death on future. And here's why. Sure. And here's why I wish death and on future, right? There, that seems, that seems kind of harsh though, right? No, 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 death. Fuck that nigga. And here's why it's fuck future. There was a beautiful black boy, man, in Southside Chicago, right? He had a single mama. But he wasn't part of no gangs, bro, you know, and he was in band, art, right, you know, and he did and all the right things, right? Um, but, again, a single mama, she goes to work. She leaves this kid to, to like, you know, his own vices. Yep. Around the age of 16, this kid who was in band, who was a musical genius, discovered mm -hmm. Future. And while his mama is at work and he's listening to... Dirty Stoto in that styrofoam, spending days getting mind blown. And he says, oh shit, bro, listen to Future made me want to do pills and drugs. So then he started taking drugs and pills. Now, he's such a musical genius that this kid went on to be the most impactful rapper of his generation. But that kid died on a plane taking pills. Juice World. That kid name is Juice World, and he says, I was in band, I was living a good life, and I started, and I started taking pills because of Future. So hence, Future's music led him down a path that killed him. Now, too, and here's why it's even more fucking sinister and evil of Future. Nicki Minaj said, yo, I was in the studio with this nigga Future, and he told me, man, bruh, I don't be doing drugs for real, Nikki. Like, I'm just rapping about it. Feel me right, feel me right, you know, in, in, again, again, because it's cool. So this nigga said, I don't do drugs, Nikki. I'm just rapping about it, Nikki. So this nigga led up, again, trust me, Juice Roll ain't the only kid, bruh. This nigga took 
one of the brightest stars in, 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 in a black music from us by rapping about a lie that he not doing to fill up his own pockets? How's that fair? How do he deserve to live after taking away from us one of the brightest young stars of our generation by a lie? Do you know who Lando Calrissian is? No. He is the individual who told uh, Darth Vader where the, uh, uh, the resistance was on sure. Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Now, the actor who played Lando Calrissian was spit on and ostracized by regular people for acting. Yeah. Nigga, who, bro, what you choose to do with the things you believe, what you, that is downloading into your brain, mm. that's on you. I'm selling entertainment. Everybody knows you can't do drugs and perform and do so. You're gonna die. These art, these real artists that are doing these shows, doing these real drugs and heavy, they always drive drug use. Or you see, you, you see how they pass. You gotta know Future ain't doing no drugs. Look at him. Hell no. Nah. Who knows that, bro? Look at him. He does not look like a drug addict. A 14 year old kid don't know what a drug addict looks like. He think it's cool. But see, my thing is. You need to be blaming mom and dad. Hell no. Nah. Why wouldn't you? And here's why, my brother. Right? So look, the FCC and has a rule that says you can play the same artist's music more than four times in a three-hour period. And you know why? Because music is a form of hypnosis, meaning if you, my brother, again, real nigga, no disrespect, if you listen to Saucy Santana talk about sucking dick three times a day for 30 days, I bet you after a while you can start thinking, damn, bro, like, I wonder how, how you feel dick taste, right? Because music is, hypno again, music is different from, from my movies and art. You know why? Because it's a form of hypnosis. Meaning, if you hear a song that you think is trash, boopity boop boop, the first time is trash. The third time, eh, trash, trash, but tolerable. The tenth time, you nodding your head. The twentieth time, <clears throat> you singing back, boopity boop boop boop. The 50th time, you try to figure out what boopity boop is. The 100th time, you going out and buying boopity boop boop. The 1,000th time, you going to boopity boop concert and you're his biggest fan. So I'm saying, if music is so potent and hypnotic mm -hmm. that it can make a straight man want to suck dick, I'm saying, I right? Don't we don't have it. Right? Don't, we don't have any right? evidence of that now. Right? <laughs> no, no, right? I, I, I yeah, no, I, right? I, I'm going to argue that because. No, right? I, <laughs> And I'm saying that, again, though, the FCC said, yo, you can't play the same artist song more than four times in a three-hour block because this shit is hypnotic. You telling me that you put an unguided kid in a single-parent household who, bro, she got to work 16 hours a day because his raggedy daddy ain't step up to fucking feed her kids. And you put vultures like fucking Future and Lil Durk in them kids' lives and leave those kids to death or jail, and you're telling me that I'm harsh for saying I was nothing but death in jail on Future and Low Dirt? No, I'm not saying you're wrong for it. Sure. I'm just saying your, uh, your emphasis on what there's being, what's being downloaded into them and not putting on any emphasis on the people who reared them. Well, the, here's, here's the question I have, right? Because if we take it all the way back to N.W.A., yeah. right? We know that some of them wasn't real gangsters, right? Sure. They, they were studio gangsters, quote, unquote. All rappers hoes, big bro. Right, so so yeah. I guess my question for you, right, is this, right? All rap to a certain degree is fake. fake. Even Drake is talking gangster, man. I'm, if you listen to the actual lyrics, even he's talking about sliding on niggas. So where uh -huh. do you stand on hip hop in general? I mean, because it's all really kind of fucked. Sure, up. every rapper, ninety, sorry, I say that ninety nine point nine percent of rappers are hoes. These niggas is pussies. I don't respect these niggas, and here's why, right? Now, so there's ones, right? And who, 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 right, feel me like, um, who, like the world may say, these niggas are actually gangsters. <clears throat> Boosie, y'all may say, yo, that's an actual gangster right there. Boosie a gangster. Dirk a gangster. Oh, oh, yeah, right? But all these niggas is hoes. And here's why I think they all hoes, right? Now, what I was told a gangster is, is that nigga who go to that courtroom the good white man look him and look him and you know and like in his eyes and say, yo, 104 years plus 200. And that nigga look at Judge and I and said, fuck you, I ain't gonna do it anyway. And leave. Not no rappy rap nigga who got millions of dollars to protect, who got a career there at 
afraid of losing, right? These niggas is hoes. You know why, right? Because again, because dudes like Lil Durk, Boosie, uh, Gucci, May Pooch, Icy, right? They are terrified to actually live that life and do the dirt. But these niggas have no issues lying about it and convincing kids they're actually doing it, hence manipulating and hypnotizing kids to actually go out and do it, right? Saying this, right? And if, if uh, Dirk said, hey, bro, I'm a bitch. This is fantasy. Don't do this shit. That's a little different. Dirk says, you a hoe if you aim for the leg. Aim for his head. Kill that nigga. So if Lord Dirk is saying, you ain't no real nigga unless you aim for that nigga head and do it, then where does Lord Dirk take uh, re uh, responsibility? But right? Wait, his last song was, all my life. <laughs> like, come on, man. And he literally said, I'm trying to do better. Like, he's literally trying to show growth. And when he, I've seen NLE chop it's too late it. for that nigga, man. No, it's never. See, see, that's where see, I feel like you're wrong. I feel like it's never too late because I feel like certain people only respect messages from certain people. Right? Like, you seem like the, you only respect people that are living their truth. Right? A, a killer might only respond to a killer. If a killer nigga tell you, hey, bro, I've been killing niggas. This shit is not the right path to do. Y'all need to change. He might actually take it in and change, I feel. Right? Because just think about it, right? And this is what I wonder. How did you end up on No Jumper, a hip-hop platform, if you feel like this? Sure, right? <clears throat> sure, look. So, one, and here's why I say... There's no coming back for niggas like Dirk, Boosie, well, 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 like Von gone already. But niggas like, right, there's no, right, again, there's, there's no coming back, right? There's no forgiving. <laughs> How do you redeem yourself from leading thousands of kids to their deaths or to jail? <clears throat> Meaning this, if your music is responsible, right, because <clears throat> again, these niggas, Aren't leaving that environment and saying, bruh, yo, that shit is corny. Beefing with niggas is corny. Ops is corny, bruh. Like, bruh, like, go to school. No, these niggas is glorifying it. So if you glorifying it and leading kids to their deaths into a jailhouse, thousands, maybe millions, how do you now redeem yourself for having the blood of a million kids and, kids and on your hands? What if they turn around and save equally as many as they've hurt. Would that would that huh. suffice? No, I'm asking. I'm just asking theoretically. Hell no. Hey. So there's no so in your brain there's nothing they can do to redeem themselves. Right now there's nothing Lil Dirk, Future, or any rappy, nappy rap they can tell me, bro. I Fuck hear, them niggas. Death I, or death. I hear you, I hear you, but you haven't said Eminem. What? Yeah. Oh fuck him too. <laughs> oh, so it's just for rappers. Yeah, because he's the Fuck he's the, all rap niggas. <laughs> Wait, wait, you still haven't answered my question. Sure, okay, How yeah. did a nigga that said fuck all rap yeah. niggas end up on a hip hop platform? Sure, so look, right? right? <laughs> Listen, right? so look, because yeah. I feel like hip hop needed me, right? Okay. And, and you put me in, on a, a platform, right, that has, a, again, a bunch of gang stuff going on at that time. Again, right, this is like the like heat of it, right? And, and bro, like, and, and like my first video, right, like that went kind of like viral, right, was again me, just a kid from North Dakota, on that platform, on that platform, full of nothing but gang members around me. And a, a dude said, "Yo, free young thug." Again, I could have kept quiet, but I knew the purpose I came on that platform for, which was, "Yo, I'm here to pass this message." And somebody said, "Free young thug." I said, "Why? Why?" Why, why, why? Like, because uh, he, like, raps good? Because he knows how to, like, coon it up? Like, why for Young Thug? If Young Thug is, is, is a being accused of, one, ran out of a vehicle that, that, like, it took a man from his kids, fuck him. Two, if Young Thug was in charge of a gang that killed a 17-year-old, fuck him, right? So I'm on that platform to really get the real, because, bro, listen, bro, is 10% of the hood do crime. 90% 90, 90 of us are civilians, hardworking people, right? Just trying to make it. But somehow, the 10% has convinced us that we are the minority. That 10% has hijacked the hood, has convinced us that, bruh, ain't shit we can do about it. And I'm here to say, nah, bruh, like, bro, speak out. Because, bro, if 90% of us stand up right now and say, no more, 
if 90%, again, if 90% right now stand up and say, hey, every gang member got to leave this, this hood by 5 p.m. today or else it's up. Bro, them niggas leaving. So here's my thing about that. And I was just going to ask you. Sure. So what, is, what does up mean? You say every, if we stand up and every gang member got to leave this hood or it's up. What, sure. is your, what is your up? Sure. The same, responding with the same violence that you're preaching against? What, no. is, what is your up? No, 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 look. And up means, oh, like, we know where the trap houses are. Like, we know your bodies, the crime y'all done did. Mm-hmm. Bro, we know where all the skeletons are buried. Again, it's 90% of us, right? Mm-hmm. Nigga. Y'all leave, or we're going to guarantee y'all leaving to a jailhouse. Nigga. Again, it's 10% of the nappy niggas who is terrorizing us. Mm-hmm. Bro, again, how do I'm, we... I'm, I'm, but, here's, no, but here's the thing. Yeah. You, we talk about a 10%, but yeah. these are 10%, and no matter how monstrous you think these 10% are, these are 10% that's going in the hood giving niggas money, giving niggas mama money, mm-hmm. paying, paying rents. Buying Jordans for kids, doing turkey drives. These niggas. Fuck they turkeys, big bro. But it's like, you say fuck they turkeys, but you, bro, you got to come in the hood with the turkeys. Of course, listen. The, yes. Bro, you can't, you cannot tell me. I, I agree, but here's what You I'm cannot. Because, because, because the problem, here's the problem, right? Mm-hmm. The lawyer, the engineer ain't out there yeah, doing the dentist, the doctors. They're not doing nothing. Sure. So, so it, it's like a. You know how it is. A kid only respects what they see. Of course. And so if they only see the street nigga doing something, if they, bro, if it was a bunch of fucking engineers uh, out there passing turkeys with they whips, nigga, looking just as cool, niggas wouldn't want to be that. Right. Bro, when Dr. Rose, right, from Dallas, right? I fuck with him. He, a dentist, right? I fuck with him. Mm-hmm. Start making music. Mm-hmm. Shining on niggas. Got right. all the women. Guess what? Everybody start like, damn, nigga, that's cool. I want to be a dentist. I want to be a dentist. Man, fuck this street shit. I want to do mm-hmm. that. So what I'm saying is the problem is we don't when niggas start getting money they move to the suburbs and get away from the hood. I understand. That's a f- wait, 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 so, wait, right, wait, so look, right, so look, right, so look. Rolls, right, right, rolls, right, like the rolls, right. Yeah. As soon as he starts shining, who came to like victimize him? Who? Oh, you talking about who? Doc, you talking about Rose? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Some funky <laughs> low down cock funky street niggas came and tried to terrorize this nigga from. Like, like, come on, bro. But, nah, they gotta go. Nah, I feel, I feel you no, but, but, but here's the thing. You gotta understand. Yeah. Street niggas coming and Laws is coming. No, when you start shining as a black man, street niggas is coming, Laws is coming. Regardless. So, right, I, huh? yeah. no, right, so look, right here, right? So one, here, right? So, and here's why I say fuck they turkeys, right? Mm-hmm. And fuck they Christmas presents. So you telling me for 363 days and in a year, you it, 363. right no, no right no right 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 because they take thanksgiving off and christmas off yeah. so 363 days in a year mm-hmm. you killed that lady three sons you killed that little boy big brother you killed that little girl's father for 363 days in a year. And then on Thanksgiving, you bring a turkey and say, here. <laughs> Fuck your turkey, nigga. Yeah, but imagine. But, 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 hold on. Bro. But imagine. But imagine you go to church every Sunday for a year. And your pastor didn't come out here and do nothing. Oh. That, oh. oh. I'm Muslim, though. So, you feel me? Yeah, so but I mean, so. Yeah. Yeah. Kids understand what have you done for me lately. Action. Sure. So sure. if you if you came out here and gave my mama a turkey and my mama said, Oh, we got Thanksgiving this year, I'm it, gonna remember that. Yellow Beezy just do we have a new artist? Yeah. Four Oh yeah, the four bars. Four bars. Sure. The, 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 four, what's what's the name? Four, four bats. bats. Yellow Beezy sent him a message. He said, mm-hmm. Say bro, I love what you're doing, keep going. Mm-hmm. That nigga said, Hey bro, you might not remember this, but I remember I was outside the store, you gave me five dollars and I went and got a little Caesar's pizza. That nigga carried that shit with. That was one time he met Lil Le- Le- yeah. That nigga carried that shit for the rest of his life. Yeah. Listen, so brother. it's all about so, the. So, so really, like, bro, where it really c- comes down to, right, mm-hmm. is when we scream the pro black shit. You're right. You everything mm-hmm. you're saying is right. Of course. The problem is this favoritism, this politics. Niggas, mm-hmm. they they don't want to say the real. Niggas love Young Thug, so they're not gonna say fuck them. You just keeping it real. Yeah, fuck Young Thug. Yeah, man. I get it. You just yeah. keeping it real with the situation. But the other, but we're not talking about the other side of the problem. Is that 
nobody else is doing shit. So look, so, wait. wait, wait, wait fact, yeah. When you say, before you can say young thug, yeah. you got to be young blessing. Of course. Because yeah. only young blessing can say fuck young thug. Because young thug will come out here and pass out gifts. Young thug will bless a mama and a pop. Young, young blessing will just be on TV saying fuck young thug. Sure, but listen, right? But that's, listen. So um, that's Stockholm Syndrome, right? Listen. Right? And all victims, like for example, if I kidnap you, right? And held you hostage here, right. and starve you, yeah. right? And, and then like some days, you know, I say, here, bro, yeah. and here's a pizza. Yeah. And here, bro, and here's a pie. At some point, and you forget that I got you here kidnapped, and, and, and like I'm the reason that you're in this, right? Again, I'm the reason that you're in this like place, right? Trapped and fucked up and down bad and starving. But when I give you that pie, nigga, it's Stockholm Syndrome. You now start to feel affection for me now because you feel as if I'm saving you. So these niggas created conditions in the hood that makes it impossible for these kids to go outside and play. But these funky, cock funky, nappy, rappy rap niggas come in the hood two times a year and give them a funky turkey and some Jordans. And they're supposed to say thank you. No, bro, listen, it's Stockholm Syndrome. Now, now right? So look, I do agree, though. That it's time for us to stop talking about it yeah. and to start walking. And meaning, bro, like, yo, if it's fuck the street niggas, yo, grab that pistol, go outside, and guard your community. Yeah, for sure. Say, hey, I did one of you cock funky street niggas to, to like make this block a safe for a kid to play on, right? <clears throat> or say, hey, yo, fuck your funky turkeys, nigga. We got it this year, right? For sure. But until the 90% step up and, and eradicate all them gang members off the hood and all them street niggas, bro, we will forever be in a fucked up situation. I, it's only gonna, it only take 10 niggas. But you won't find 10 niggas to be like, that's ready to die about this shit. Right. It's 10 huh. rap niggas ready to die about this shit. Hell, that's a lie. Who? Huh? Who? Huh? They all pussy. Wait, wait, wait. wait die about no, 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 hold on, hold on. Before niggas get to that million, all that shit you talking about, is they young niggas ready to die. I done seen them. Seen them. <laughs> and, 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 and Flacco, you do the same shit we do. You've interviewed some of these crazy young niggas, bro. No, Have no, you not? no, 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 to push they line. Like once a rapidly rap nigga gets some a, 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 a new chain, a batter bitch, a batter car, bro, these niggas ain't giving that up. These niggas is hoes. These niggas are even more sinister, right? So instead of them going to house, right, and picking up their own pistol and feeding their own family, they pay a young starving nigga to, to, to do like the dirt for him, right? Right, so, right, 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 right. So look. So when I say like they, like they, like they are, you know, like they are all pussy, I'm saying, bro, like, and all these niggas ain't willing to absolutely crash out and lose it today. Every rapper you know that, like, we think is tough, they pay niggas to, to like, do they dirt, right? But that's gangster, ain't it? That's what, that's, hell, no, that's what the Italian niggas, niggas did. Hell, no, hell, the Italian hell, niggas put hits on everybody. Wait, wait, who? The Italian, because where we get the gangster shit from, we got the gangster shit from the Italians, yes? Listen, bro, listen. <laughs> bro, I'm just bro. saying. Distortion. Yeah, them, them hey, niggas, listen. hey, them, them Don niggas, no, wasn't, no. them Don niggas was at, uh, eating hey, listen, the table, bro. eating lasagna. They wasn't hey, listen, bro. in the field. No nigga but I agree. bag. I agree. Right? Getting a young nigga to go do a hit, that's fucked up. No, or look, right? so look at this, right? bro, look, like, it takes a certain level of, like, something is off, right, that you can grab your pistol and look a nigga in his eyes yeah. and, and, and know, like, when I pull this shit, I'm taking his soul from his body. But Flacco, what I'm trying to say That's is, different than, but, than a fuck nigga paying nigga to do it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is this. Yeah. You do the same thing we do, right? Yeah. You interview young artists. Yeah. Right? I'm saying, before we was here, mm -hmm. we was in the hood. Fact. And we had a recording studio. So Fact. we was recording all the hood niggas. Fact. And you can look them in their eyes and know, this nigga will kill me, bro. Like, Hell no. Nah. And, and, and I'm just saying, and you have to... And, and, and you still have to stand your ground with these mm -hmm. niggas. You have to, you know, and a lot of them respect you. So what I'm saying is you have, I know you have dealt with these young niggas. So and I hate when, these niggas. I get, I get that. But yeah. in, in being pro-black, 
You gotta you gotta wrap your arm around some of these misguided niggas. No. See, but then you're part of the problem, then nigga. Hell no, it's not pro black. No, no, wait, 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 no. Hey, hey so, bro, no, I'm trying to bro. Mm-hmm. It's been multiple niggas came on this bitch mm-hmm. and admitted to egregious hey, egregious yeah. atrocities. Yeah, and we cut we, we, we cut this camera off, youngin. Hey, nah, we we hey, gonna do. You. Hey, here's the studio <laughs> time. This hey, bro. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna shoot you a shit, free video. Shit, we, you nigga. know how many free videos we shot, niggas? Shit. Bro, hey, we listen. just trying to help. You feel listen, me? right? Listen, so look, no, listen. So pro black means I'm pro what's good for black people, not pro all black people. <laughs> right? Saying this. Wait, that is kind this is a direct contradiction. No, 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 no. What's listen, good right, for so black, look. but not all black? Sure, sure, right. Okay. So look, so being pro what's good for black people means that not all black people can come with us to Mecca, right? Okay. That some have to leave us and depart us on our journey to Mecca. Meaning, yo, dumb cock funky rappers like Lil Durk and them who was actually like leading a bunch of us to hell? Oh, no, nah, they got to go first. And then the low street nigga, right? And who's cute at nine years old? And, and then around like 15, he's terrorizing the community. He got to go too. But he took some of them niggas that was terrorizing the community and put money in their pocket to where they don't have to terrorize the community no more. They not even in the they now they on the road with him. Now what? they out the community. So don't you? I mean, so it's like it's the yin it's and the yang. It's not enough. You gotta go still, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's not enough. You gotta go still. You gotta die. Yeah, okay. okay. So here's the thing, though, right? Mm-hmm. So you cut the. The, the rappers off. Yeah. You cut the street em. niggas off. Yeah, fuck them. Bro, right after that is bloggers. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Bro, sure, yeah. Listen. Bro. Oh, oh, you, bro. Listen. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, yeah. Bro. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Something got to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, nigga. Oh, you, yeah, listen. You, bro, listen. you got to be oh, ready yeah. to put the gun oh, in yeah. your own oh, mouth. Yeah. Oh, listen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it, man. You got to be ready to put the gun in your own mouth. Let's talk about it, man. Get yourself on me. Nah, 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 nah. 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 Hell nah. Hell nah. Hey, listen. Three dead niggas. Listen. listen. Now, listen. Like, hey, for example, right? There are a rapper like, like, like Corday, who, you know, like he can cover, right? Right, right? So there's bloggers that need to go. Like, like for example, 16 shot him, gotta go. You feel me, DJ? You gotta go. You feel me? Bro, like niggas gotta go. You feel me? Niggas gotta go. It's cool. They gotta go. Does DJ blog? Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Uh yeah, right. He um like like uh and like has an Instagram page. You feel me right? Right? So yeah, again, there's some bloggers who, 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 bro, like aren't good for this shit, yeah. right? Listen, bro. So if a nigga got on live, put the gun to his mouth and blew his shit out, bro, you like you'd be like, who? If one of the people that you name, I'm not gonna put up. I, I, I'll say, thank God, nigga. Today is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, nigga. I don't think God will be happy. Bro, nigga, bro, man, bro, is you crazy? Bro, is you, bro, is you crazy? Yes. Bro, Charleston White, 16 shots. Yeah, bro, pull that shit off, nigga. Fuck you, niggas. This is what I don't understand about you and Charleston. Yeah. Y'all pretty much agree on the same shit. No, we don't. Okay, please break this. No, 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 right? No, look, here's why, brother, right? So, I really live this shit, bro, right? All right, what you saying? Really live it. Explain it. Sure. Break that. I really tell them niggas. Oh, shit. Man, big bro, look at this shit right here, man. Look. Uh, oh shit. Man, said, I really tell all niggas. man look. Man, man, bro. Man, bro, bro here. That's the name of the title. I'm going, I really tell Read that out loud, man. Right. That's the FBI contacted me at, about first mate death five months before he got arrested. Frederick, this is Department Wallace with the Lexington Police. I have received your report, but I want to reach out to, <laughs> to the FBI agent Holiday. If you have any questions, you are welcome to text or call me at this desk. What day? What day? Uh, that was Monday, August the 7th. I really get niggas locked up, right? I'm really a rat. Charleston White is a street nigga, a dirty cap and street nigga who's out here pretending to be a rat as a character, 
But isn't this I, I don't respect that character. Isn't it the opposite of what you're saying? Like, if, if he's preaching the message that you're preaching, even if it's a character, isn't that the same effect of the street nigga? But I don't respect this dude, though, right? This, right? So look, right? So look. Oh, see, bro, they're coming now. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I told you they're coming now, bro. Listen, bro, I'm spitting that shit, my nigga. They're coming, bro. I'm spitting that shit, man. I'm really spitting that shit to these niggas, man. I'm telling you, bro. So listen. Listen. If Charleston White was really a rat, I respect the butt. When Charleston White get around the street, niggas, he said, nah, man, bro. Man, bro. Man, bro. Like, man, bro. Like, that's a character, nigga. That's a character, nigga. I don't respect it. Again, bro, when? Again, when? I'm in the presence of some real niggas? Bro, I keep it a hundred, nigga. No, I'm, no, it's, it's... I'm a rat, nigga. Respect it. I don't know. No, it's documented that Charleston White has worked with police to get niggas off the street. At 14 years old, that don't count, my nigga. Bro, a rat is a rat. No, nah, that don't count, my nigga. At 14, yeah, we, nigga. We, we not going to... Nah, at 14, bro, nigga. here's the thing. Here's the thing, like... Telling is one thing, but that shit ain't about nothing, bro. You got to really get them niggas off the street with your bare hands. No, hell no. Nah. Why hell no? Nah? Hell no. Nah. Listen, so look. Wait, look. So these street niggas, right, and had this fallacy and this lie, right, of, man, I wouldn't wish jail on my worst enemy, yo. Mm -hmm. But you'll wish death on them, though? Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Like, I'm confused, right? So you mean to tell me that... You want your ops free, so these niggas can come out and still get more money than you, still fuck your hoes, still sell your drugs, and you not do shit. But you telling me that you want them free? Why? Wow, wait, wait, wait. As far as I'm concerned, jail got different games, right? If you was really like that, your ops is in jail. Just tell your niggas, hey, bro, kill that nigga, right? For sure. Right? Right? So look. Wait, 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 wait. I, I forgot, you feel me? I guess my, my whole thing is yeah. right because the judicial system is flawed. Yeah, you can get one nigga locked up, but mm -hmm. we talking about rap niggas and you, you can't get Lil Dirt locked up. Shit, who can't? You definitely can't. Why not? <laughs> I just want you to take me through. I want you to take me through the feeling it like the first time you got a nigga locked up. Like, what was you like? What did you eat afterwards? Like, how did you? So listen, brother. <laughs> no, listen. Listen, right, bro. Listen, bro. Like, listen, bro. Right. So look. So I I'm gonna tell you about the last time though, right? Yeah. And that's punch made death, bro. That shit felt exhilarating. My nigga, like you out here winning too much. You got on. A million dollar house, a million dollars worth of jewelry on, right? You fucking all the hoes, nigga. So is it about saving the neighborhood? Or are you, you just, nah. Are you just hating? <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga. Bro, that's hey. Hey. That you didn't say one crime, nigga. <laughs> say one crime, you just hey, uh, all so, the material. So, uh, 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 so, so uh, okay, best. So, right. So look, so a dev is a dude who's a scam rapper, right? Right. Where he have a Telegram channel, where. He's convincing his 12-year-old fans that he got cash apps with $20,000 in it, and all they have to do is pay him $200. Mm -hmm. And he's running up with 12-year-old fans and scamming them fans, right? Mm -hmm. So I called about him scamming, right? Mm -hmm. But guess what? And they told me, yo, bro, like, his friend died last year. Like, he's already, like, under investigation for that. Mm -hmm. Please. Like this is beyond like, 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 like local shit. Right. Call the FBI, right? Cause they right now are, are you feel me? Or are, are, are on them already, right? Right. So like when it comes to like, that, right? It was well, well, one, it was good, right? Two, it felt like joyful, right? Cause bro, like you a dirtbag, bro, bro, like you scamming twelve year olds out of two hundred dollars. He's definitely a dirtbag. Right? right, right. And you shining too much, bro, like. My nigga, bro, 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 listen, bro, listen, bro, I'm on my knees, my nigga, praying on his downfall, but every month he was getting richer, nigga, I couldn't take it, I couldn't take it, nigga, I couldn't take it, my nigga, so, I, nigga, so me, nigga, so nigga so I'm on me. my knees, my nigga, like this, nigga, I'm saying, God, I'm saying, God, bro, please, my nigga, take this nigga down, right, right, take him down, my nigga, and at some point, I'm like, bro, no matter how hard I pray, this nigga keep getting richer. 
At some point, I'm thinking, wait, am I not a servant of God? The fuck? How my enemy getting richer every month? But hey, turns out, nigga, I'm God's servant, nigga, because yo, his bitch has got, you know, uh, arrested, nigga, you feel me? So now, hey, you know, so, it's fucking over with now for them. So you, you're, you're, you're of African descent? Yes, West Side Liberia. Yeah. So were you happy when Hush Puppy got arrested? Yeah, fuck that nigga, man. Listen, listen, man, listen up, bro. Listen up, my nigga. Listen up, my nigga. Some blue, purple, wide nose, pink lip nigga was was us scamming them good white folks, my nigga. Fuck that nigga, man. Man, come on, man, come on, bro. Taking the white man's money, fuck him. Okay, look, so I gotta ask you about this while you're here. Now you did go on on no jumper and say that. Uh, uh, accused Charles the White of some heinous things with some dogs and cats and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, listen. What, what was that about, bro? Because, I mean, man, like, man, like listen, who, bro. Who, who does that to listen, animals, right, bro? Yeah, right, right. So look, bro, right. So look. Bro, I seen this random headline, right? Right. I seen that he got booked for animal cruelty. Right, right, right. And they said, yo, he, he you me, right, was fucking dogs, right? Right. So, I, again, I was misled. I took the wild headline and just repeated it and was joking about it. Right. But I came back and said, yo, I retracted. I was wrong. Okay. Because, hey, nigga, hey, won't well, none of you niggas Tasha K me, nigga, right? Nigga, bro, listen, bro, I know the law. Listen, bro, listen, because look, listen, bro, Charleston White act like the cops like him. They don't. He's a street nigga. They hate him too, right? But I understand the law, right? If I was misled and I come back and offer up a retraction, I'm good. Now, two, you now have to prove that my statements has done more damage to your career than your own statements. And you mean to tell me that my one statement plus my retraction afterwards has done more harm to, to, like, to like his career than him saying that he raped white women? Come on, my nigga. Come on. Right? So how did he expect to sue when he went on Clubhouse and everywhere? And brag about raping a good white woman. So fuck that nigga, man. But don't you don't you respect the suit? He probably felt like you felt when you took the nigga down, right? Huh? You don't respect the suit? And he gonna lose. And listen, right? So listen, right? So listen, right? So look, right? So look, right? So look, right? So look, bro. I did any nigga to Google Frederick Jala lawsuit or poetic cycle lawsuit. I got sued six times, nigga, in the last year and a half. I spanked it all. I spanked it all, right? Got sued six fucking times in the last 18 months, big bro, and spanked it all. That's loud. I dare a dirty nigga to sue me, man. Please sue me, my nigga. <laughs> it's right for you, bro. But you, but you got to admit that was a little irresponsible to just take a headline and, and report on yes, it. Yes, listen. It's fact. Yes, right? Yes, but I came back on air and said, yo, right. I retracted. How do you feel about the fact that the retraction wasn't as loud? I've never seen the mm -hmm. clip of the retraction. They only post the clip of... That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? How no. do you feel about the media when they are biased to that point? No, right, no, right, no, right. So look, right, no, look. So I, I blame Charleston, right? Because, bro, like the clip in go viral, like he brought it viral, right? Now, if he would have, again, if he would have came back and said, yo, this whole ass nigga uh, apologized to me, that would probably be viral too, you feel me? But, right? But again, I retracted. <laughs> I, 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 I apologize, son. <laughs> you feel me? I apologize, son. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So speaking of that, like the, the Tasha K thing, right? Mm -hmm. You talk about getting sued. You know, again, what we do, we sp speak on other people's situations. Mm -hmm. We talk about it. Does, does it get to the point where it's not no fun no more? Or do you feel like, do we, do you feel like the hip hop media is going to have to change with all these people trying to sue now? Well, so one, so, hey, right. So one, right? Like, I feel like the lawsuits is an intimidation tactic by rappers to try to silence us, right? But back on y'all though, when y'all watch Tasha K get taken through hell, did y'all come on y'all platform and say, "Yo, we stand with that sister"? I didn't agree with what she did. We, yeah, we didn't. <laughs> that was fucked up. That was fucked up. What she do? Wait, 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 uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, 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 what she do? Defamation of character. Uh, what, what she do? What she do? She, Defamation of character on Cardi, Cardi B. Look, right, so, well, no, right, so look, right, so, right, so look, right, so look, 
So, so she did an interview, right? Where a girl said like she has herpes, right? Boom. Yeah. Now, so Cardi was trying to do the most to take it down, uh, 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 bro. Like following copyright strikes, like like right, like attacking the customer out, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, right, 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 right. No, right, right, right. But, but. It's only after Cardi was attacking her, trying to take down her channel, that she says, fuck you, you herpes having, blah, 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 and that got her in trouble. Right. But she was just saying it because she was mad. But what I'm saying is, I it's don't roasted. stand with that, though. Yeah, you, you, don't say, you, don't say, no. you don't say a person has herpes. Yeah, they did. That's why they did. <laughs> <laughs> Look. You know what I'm saying? Out somebody's uh, history like that. Bro. You just, sit on cold. Like, like, hey, bro. Do I, did you stand with Tasha K? Of course, listen. Did you say something about it? Listen, yeah, of course, listen. I 100% stand with that black woman, right? Because listen, because when Tasha K did a Joe Budden podcast, oh, yeah, that was wrong. That was wrong. but Cardi B gave a call and said, don't drop it. Yeah, that was true. And Joe Budden chose Not to drop. the white woman or, or the Hispanic woman right. and over a black woman who is always on call, meaning, bro, like you've never seen, seen Tasha K not on call for the cause. Right. She's always speaking up for a black man. Right? Yeah, right? And us as men and in the culture, bro, like we have sat by and allowed her to get bullied, attacked, and we didn't say nothing at all. You feel me, right? And I'm and like I'm like, bro, like, if she's somebody who is always on code, then we should say, I, right, yo, right or wrong, that's our sister, and you niggas ain't gonna bully her. You saying the media should do that? Yeah, us, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have to agree though. You can't, mm-hmm. you can't say it's something. Just, yeah, I, bro, even, <laughs> me and my, I'm with my brother, right or wrong. Mm-hmm. But in the, we're going to have, hey, bro, take that shit down, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, come on, bro, like, bro, we ain't going to let nobody <laughs> fuck with you, but take that shit down, yeah. bro. That was wrong. Yeah, that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, we, okay. We're not going to stand on. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to stand on just all the way. All right. Out there, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, hey, right. Okay, right. But look, the, right. So look, like the lawsuit, yes. Yeah. But after the lawsuit now, is that becoming excessive now? Right, yeah, 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 yeah. right, like yeah. attacking her, blackballing her. I don't feel like if I'm interviewing somebody in your camp that's snitching on you, how is that my fault, nigga? Exactly. You can't like, that doesn't make sense. Well, Smith found Sewer. Listen, bro, listen, right, because look, right, because look, look, right. Bro, when I seen, like, wh- bro, when I seen, like, why Kevin Hart was suing that black woman, bro, I say, bro, like, you, bro, like, you coons are out of pocket. So, look, so Kevin Hart got wind that she interviewed his ex assistant, right? And he also got wind that she was about to interview his ex-best friend, right? Yeah. Who he got, like, arrested, right? Yeah. And he caught her or, like, contacted her and said, Hey, don't put out those interviews, right? Yeah. I'm not fucking with it. And she said, Yo, I done flew people out. I paid for it for the cost of production. I'm putting this in, in on my website behind a paywall. I know I'm gonna make this, and I've already spent this much on it. If you don't want it to come out, compensate me for what I'm gonna lose from this. For sure. Oh, they flipped that like a motherfucker, bro. And he said, "Oh, it's extortion." Oh yeah, they flipped that, bro. Like, come on, my nigga. They flipped that. They didn't. They didn't pose it like that. That's crazy. like, come on, my nigga. Listen, bro. Look, right? Like, hey, right? Look, right? So look. Imagine, right? You like paying Charleston White, right? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. You pay him, 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 the cameras, the rent, blah, blah. And a rapidly rap nigga say, hey, bruh, Charleston White is going too crazy on me, bruh. Don't put out that interview. And you say, bruh, I done paid him, right, right bruh? Here, I, I, I fuck with you. I'm trying to like still build with you. So, hey, listen. Just pay me the the like, you know, like thirty k right that it cost. Just pay me, and we'll be good. And you then turn around and sue me, yeah. and say that I was trying to to extort you. Yeah, you definitely gonna drop it. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah. Out of here. Yeah. You feel me? I th- I think she just going too crazy. Tasha K is damn near like number one when it comes to new personalities, bro. Like she really she's funny. She get the scoop, nigga. She going she going Get your goddamn cousin to snitch on you. Like, she getting some course, wild bro. interviews, bro. Like, listen, bro, bro. Like, bro, like, when it comes to, like, her, right, is she can't be silenced, right? Like, even in, in the new era 
of a rap media, right? There's Masa's favorites and the non-favorites, right? Meaning this, right? Um, prior to academics, there was a clear entry point into the industry, right? right. You apply to a radio station, you get like an internship, and then work your way up. Thanks. When academics tried the exact same thing, and he got fired, and Axe said, hold up now, nigga, no. There needs to be a better way, right? Because if I come through this entry point, I have to now, like, bootlick and conform to my um, uh, um, uh, station manager, executives, who's also in, in bed with the labels. And if I say anything that, that, that they don't like, I'm out of here. Yep. So I said, I yo, fuck this, and started YouTube, right? Now, this right now is Masa's favorites and non-favorites, right? Where is, there's the people that can be controlled, and then there's us that can be controlled, right? Like, for example, Speedy Mormon. Get every opportunity there is to get. You know why? Bro, you ain't never heard Speedy give an opinion on anything. At all, right? But somehow, academics, who's like, again, bro, again, bro, bro, bro like he's the most important um, independent media journalist of all time. Yeah, and somehow, like, Speedy Mormon gets more uh, awards and accolades than academics? Yeah, he pissed the whole industry off. Like, you, come on, I bro. I feel like if you're gonna, I feel yeah. like if you're gonna live like that, you just gotta take. That's your fate. Like, nigga, I'm not never gonna get the accolades, but everybody knows you're, fair. you're the most important. What the, 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 the fear, right? Yeah. But who job it is now to speak up for academics? No, I think it's academics no, the, to create those awards because mm. he is the big. Like, bro, when you when you look at what he's built for himself, nigga, you can create these same awards and you do it, bro, because nigga, you created a lane. Where everybody's copying off you. Sure, 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 right. But listen, but and the shit, the money and the power is your accolade. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, sure, but flexing, bro. bro, that nigga, bro, that nigga, literally, he, bro. If you listen to his shit, he talk like he's a rapper. Yeah. Like, yeah, of course he rapping. So, but here's no, 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 no. But let's be very clear. Sure. To get to this rap shit, mm -hmm. there is a very dangerous path you have to go through. To get to this the the acu the blogger lane, yeah. that shit is that's that shit is, nah that shit is pixie dust sometimes. Hell no, nah, that's a dangerous thing. Hell no, nah. no niggas make it dangerous for themselves. Yeah. Nigga, it's mm -hmm. like it's one thing to be in the streets. I'm gonna be a rapper yeah. and use my street money or my leverage in the streets to. It's another thing to just get online and say fuck every nigga, rap nigga, yeah, fuck, dance, nigga. fuck the strippers, fuck the. <laughs> but you did you wanted that? That's you wanted that attention. The rap nigga wants that attention, but one is it creates a lane to get killed and murdered, and one just basically put himself in a dangerous situation. Hey, 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 so sure, right? So look, so like my only issue, right, is not even the yo like these awards like mean so much that I can get it right. It's the fact that when we are all media bloggers or media personalities, right, I expect that we are all on the same page. Meaning this. If it's time to burn the infrastructure down, oh, I fully expect Masa's favorites or non-favorites, nigga, right? We all grabbing that match and lighting it up. But when I see that they stand by and they reap the, like, like here, right? For example, Carisha, please, right? She's a clear beneficiary of the system being fucked up. So I expect her to say, oh, hell nah. I don't look me win this shit. Wait, what we'll happened? There's this act, Vlad, uh, Adam 22, say cheese. Fuck no, I don't deserve this shit. I expect spec, right? For like speedy, right? I expect from expect for Carisha, <laughs> Speedy, now and Simone all say, hey, bruh, they're not in the good graces of the system, but it's fucked up how they're being treated. I expect for the niggas, right? The monsters' favorites, I expect for them to speak up for us, but. When they don't speak up for us, I don't know if they'll grab their match and burn the shit down with us. But see, here's a, no, uh, I'm gonna also say this: I don't think any non-female centric pot blog will ever win anything, and here's why, mm -hmm. bro. When you look at, let's just say, a Vlad, a No Jumper, a Say Cheese, all of them, the highest maybe subscriber count might be five million. You look at Shayroom, they 20, 30, 40, 50 million, bro. It's like women gossip 
is way crazier sure. than Men Gossip. Even the two biggest Jaguar right on our platform, Truck and Group, you see the women go so crazy when they when it because women make this shit go. Exactly, I think please. I think yeah. nigga gossip yeah. only got a certain plateau of ceiling, bro. Rap, especially rap shit. Yeah. Yo, hey, hey but we, listen, but can we talk about listen, first off, right? So so one, listen, Jaguar right, listen, bro. So here's why I, I don't believe her. Right? Uh, hold on. What, 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 what does she believe? Because you know she was on the song that Jay-Z uh, song cried. That was her singing. You know that, right? Hey, sure, right? Okay. But when she speaks on like the, right, right, like, uh, like um, she watched like sacrifices happen, she know, ain't no nigga that close to white man business and still starving. Meaning this, right? Wait, do you, wait, do you know who her, ex, her, who, who her ex-husband was? Who? Scott Storch. A word. Oh, you, so you didn't. You ain't no. Bro. No. Bro, you, 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 you did all that Diddy shit she was talking? Yeah. You see that Diddy clip? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, fam. I don't know, bro. Bro, listen, she knows. I ain't gonna lie, though, bro. Listen, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, lie bro. She is Scott, weird. Listen, bro. Scott Storch is a nasty nigga, my nigga. That's, that's cool. What, what, bro? Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what up now, bro? And he was fucking and married Jaguar Wright? No, he was married to Jaguar Wright. That's crazy. Go look it up. Yeah. Wait, wait. Was she fine? Fine back then though. Look her up. Yeah, she was fine. No, 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 like no, no, no. Yes, nigga, yes. What? Yes. Go look her up, bro. Bro, it's, bro, we. She was fine back then. Huh? She, she fine as fuck back then. For for in the nineties, early nineties, yes. Oh really? Hell yes. Nigga. Hell yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait there. Like, what happened to her then? And her voice, and she sing like an angel. She sing like an angel. Oh, Flacco, you from, know, well, you got with a girl that was that was fine at the same nigga. That, that elevated a little bit. What happened to wait? Like, what, like, what, like did she like, bro? What happened? Just get older to crack like, 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 like what happened? You can't speak. I don't know about don't that. Know about <laughs> man, come on, man, come on, bro. Bro, bro, I don't know. bro. Here's the thing. No matter what happened to her, shit, this life, that drugs, this that that fame, and that life don't ain't good to people. That shit ain't good for your skin. That shit ain't good for your soul. It sure. rots you. Sure. Listen though. Listen though. But. Wait, but all I'm saying is, mm -hmm. knowing that, does that not lend a little bit more credibility to what that she it, it may does. or may not know? Yes. It does, right? And she know more people than that. Bro, she put it us does. on the phone with Snoop Dogg and, I mean, not, not Snoop, she put us on the phone with Corrupt one day. Facts. I was like, damn, like, she, like, you think it's Cap until she, oh, no, hold on, let me Facts. call him. And she comes. Yeah, yeah. And, and listen, though, but, and listen, and I do know that Scott was on them shits heavy, right? So, hey, listen up, bruh. It's probably, you know, like the, like the drugs are fucked. Listen, but still, again, but still, though. It's two, listen, there's two types of crackheads, bro. It's the honest niggas who just got no fucking filter and the delusional schizophrenic liars. And I don't know which one she is, but, okay, but, but past her, though. The, bro, the trucking guru. How you let that lady come up here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, she's up a hundred million, let me, man. Let me, let me let me defend my sister, right? They're really up, man. Because yeah. everybody in Dallas who's out here yeah. really knows that nigga. She got that paper for real. She got the match. Everybody knows this. So we as, and I'm the one that brought her on because we try to support anybody doing something in Dallas, right? She's a black woman doing her thing. Come on the couch. When we put people on the platform, we did, I didn't know anything about her. So when you listen to the interview, you could actually see us trying to just, we were gaining knowledge. That's why we were asking the questions we were asking. We didn't know anything about her. Of course. So she spoke her truth, and then whatever happened, happened. Yeah, shit. So here's yeah, the thing. Yeah. The funny part about it is, yeah. before she got, uh, uh, before the people tried to hit her with whatever they tried mm -hmm. to hit her with, I just did an event where she sold out the Sheraton Hotel. No, the, what, what hotel was that? Uh, Statler. The Statler. If anybody knows about the Stella nigga, this ain't no little shit. This some big boy shit. Sold out, bro. Yeah. And I filmed it. Me and OD filmed it. She rented the whole hotel. Sure. This ain't no little, this not no, like. So what I'm saying is, maybe there's some truth to, to it. Maybe, the, but what I'm saying is, if you was here and you seen her yeah. and you was in the city, you would know that she's a big dog for real. So sure. it's not like just a random person we put on the couch and, oh shit, she's no, 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 no. That's not what it was. And. To be very clear, she Ooh. showed us her bank account and she had the M&M's in the M&M's. How many? I'm not going to disclose how many, but but she. If you say I had a hundred and you, let's just say you had a hundred and you had twenty, that's still uh, twenty more than I had. Yeah. I, <laughs> you could if you Personal, had right? if you had twenty liquid, 
then you have maybe you got a million in assets or whatever the fuck. Well, what the, well, hey, Russell, look, Russell, look, though. So Russell, let me ask you this: like, if you walk up to a bitch, right? Yeah. You're gonna be like, bitch, I'm six three. You're not just gonna be yeah. like, I'm six foot. Not you know fucking. You gonna put a little extra on it, nigga? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Hey, I'm right. Six three. Listen, I can tell. Hey, listen, listen, Russell, look, Russell, look. Like when I seen her, bro, I could tell, right? Something ain't right. It's either drug money, trafficking, or something, right? Because listen, because the damn show ain't trucking. Because all her trucking companies, like, like again, it's public record, and they seen that shut down, that shut down, that shut down, and that got two trucks. So it's damn show ain't trucking. So, so y'all saying this fella came here who who up drug money? And said, bro, I'm a trucking guru. So let me let me ask you something. No, no, no. This is what happened. She's been trucking for a while. Right. Everybody knows her from trucking. She's named the trucking guru. She has done events as the trucking guru for right. years. So the we know her as a trucker. You know what I'm saying? Like the person that put on for the truckers. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man. Man, hey, man. Listen, bro. I can't speak on none of the other stuff. That's what I'm Listen, bro. Any nigga, listen, man. Listen, any nigga in upper 100 M's and Still want to come around and talk to other niggas, bro? I'm suspicious of you, right? Cause why do you want to talk to niggas at up hundred M's? Here's the, the bro, but you you can't get no, no, no. You cannot call to talk about black power, bro. You cannot talk about black empowerment, bro. Pro black and be up hundred M's and don't fuck with I'm no pro niggas. I'm black people. I'm fuck niggas, I, I, bro. I, I'm no, real. no, no nigga, you. Niggas. She's not with no niggas. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. She, bro, when she came in here, Listen. she wasn't with no niggas. Women. Listen though, if she stated that yo, like my like 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 like, like my uh, like um students or all fellas or, or, or like most of fellas, I'm I, I'm like listen, bro. Like if 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 I'm up a hundred M's, why the fuck am I trying to talk to fellas? The because same reason. Hold on, hold on. The same reason. Man, how FedEx no, talk, business, The same reason FedEx talk to fellas. The same reason UPS Ooh. talk. We need work labor, right? Huh? Work, yeah, work labor. No, okay. no, 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 no. The no, same no. reason you yeah. open a warehouse and hire a felon yeah. is the same reason she'll work with a felon. Well, and that yeah. hell no. Nah. Think about this from just a capitalistic standpoint, right? I'm yeah. not saying that that's what she is. Yeah. A felon can't necessarily get maybe a, a certain type of job, right? Sure. But I can make more money than all of them jobs doing this, even sure. if I'm lowballing you. Mm-hmm. So why? I'm just saying from a capitalistic yeah. standpoint, yeah. it's a smart play because nigga, felon to felon, nigga, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna put some real money in your pocket, sure. nigga. I'm gonna run through a wall for you. So it's like it could be a good sure. marriage. So I'm not saying that's what she's doing. Or she up? Wait, 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 wait though, Russell. Look, she's up a hundred and but got like multiple evictions within like a six month period. Okay, let me ask you this: yeah. You put your family on, and just but sure, and you put it in your name because they don't have no credit. Sure. That's how she get happen. No, 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 no. What, what, what? No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, no. And, and they asked her, right? Yeah. And she said, um, the landlord was tripping. I paid it all, and he just wanted me out. That, that, that don't make sense. Feel me? Bro. Like, like, well, like at all. You, but let me ask you this. Like at why all. Does, but why does that matter in the grand scheme of she helped put people on? See, that's the part everybody's missing. Yeah. She's turned people into millionaires still. Yeah, I don't so, believe it. No, we've seen it. Nah, no, listen. I, I've, I've seen it personally. Listen. I've seen it with my own eyes. I don't believe she did it, Brother, brother. And I, bro, Flacco. I, I, bro, and I, I, bro, I love you in it, everything, bro. Yeah. But you cannot be this as pro-black as you're saying. Sure. And... This against black people shit. Yeah. Mm. Bro, bro, listen. Bro, bro. bro. Sure. And you just took a liking bro. to a podcaster. Sure. Would you not do what you, I don't know what type of nigga you are, but would uh-huh. you not do something in your power to help them grow? Maybe sh- shoot them some bill. Hey, man, here's, you up 100 amps. Hey, bro, here's 10,000, bro. Get you some equipment. That'll do it like this. You wouldn't do that for people? Sure, but there's a history and a clear trail and documentation of Niggas who don't got shit, yeah. who lie about having shit, yeah. and they get shit by selling you a course for shit they don't have. Meaning this, right? She ain't make that end off no trucking because her trucking companies are, are public records. And, and again, and like those companies ain't make them 100 M's. So if she does have wealth, it, it came from lying to black folks and convincing them she's up 100 million. That's where that came from, probably, right? Hold on, 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 no, no, hold on, bro, no, let's be very clear, though, brother, 
Nobody knew she had a hundred M's till she came on Real Life Street Stars. Yeah, I asked you I nobody knew. No, nobody no, knew no, what she had. No, no, no. And you know why I knew? Cause hmm? niggas knew. Niggas was telling me. Man, come on, hey, now, bro. No, I'm telling you what bro. niggas was telling me. So I said it. Like, bro, bro I, I heard. That's why I said I heard you got a hundred. No, she wasn't on no. She shit. never even said that. I, I kind of, kind of. Listen, right. You know what I'm Look, when you guys say, yo. I heard you got a hundred M's, and she said that was four years ago. I said, man, 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 get, 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 fuck, man, bro, it's impossible. <laughs> listen, 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 again, if she's up here, right, if she's up M's, all right, but one thing we know, right, is that, again, when we're talking about raggedy niggas, yeah. 500,000 to them niggas, oh, yo, he up a hundred M's, right, bro. These niggas steal for a living and have no concept of of, of, of actual money. I right? mean this, right? She probably got one M from from like again from like selling these like fucking courses. Hey, bro, listen, bro. Right. So again, I feel like she's been able to exploit and take advantage of it. Why? Because again, her money did not come from trucking. It's a track record. The shows. So like, you don't think she's made at least a million dollars off of trucking? No, off the right. courses. But, but either way, that's sure. off of trucking. What we'll though, right? Because if I'm showing you how to get to, it's just like the nigga that the the YouTuber, right? Mm -hmm. That goes and shoots music videos, and then says, "Hey man, buy my LUT package for this." He's gonna make more selling LUTs than shooting but, videos, bro. No, right? No, and that's different, right? And here's why, right? So if I sell this course mm -hmm. on how to be six foot five, not stutter. In shape. No, no, let's do a real one. What? You do a, a, a course on how to become a podcaster like Flacco. That's now, different. Niggas though. might not. No, it's not different sure. because, because you're you. A nigga can't be you unless sure. they have certain character. Like you're truthful. You're, you know, you're going to sure. come at you. Yeah. But if you sell a course telling niggas step by step how to do it and they mm -hmm. just don't get to it, that's not your fault. No, or listen, no, no, or listen. Or, like, and I'm an actual podcaster. She's selling a course. On how to be a millionaire in trucking, when she ain't never made a million in trucking. That's not facts. We seen it. No, I get from them courses. It, it's, it's, yeah, no, I get from no, them courses. No, 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 no. She's made some money in trucking. Hell no. Nah. I promise you, bro. Wait, I promise wait, you, nigga. Wait. She didn't make some money in trucking, bro. I, I, I get. Look, she just what, did. What, a, wait, what company though, right? No, no. But them. what I'm saying is, check what I'm saying. Yeah. We did a whole event. Mm -hmm. With other big name trucking people that you see all across the internet, yeah. where all they're speaking. Yeah. Why? How could she be able to get them people and they respect her like it. they do? No, but it's not fake respect. It's real respect. We're back there with them. It's real respect. Like what? you showed me the game, nigga. I'm up now. Like it's. So what I'm saying is, I think maybe there's, you know how shit goes. There's there's three sides to every story. You know what sure, I'm saying? But okay, but though, like, and they pulled up. Again, her like trucking companies, right? And at the most they saw was she had two trucks. Two, right? So again, at the most she had was Do two Do you believe that though? Yes. See, and that's why I think. What? You think she only has two trucks? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, no. <laughs> No, no what? Bro, she goes live every Tuesday for years. Yeah, she's she been what? showing niggas for years. But anyway, I don't I don't want to get okay. into it because yeah, yeah. I don't have the facts. You okay, know what I'm okay. saying? And I, you know, I'm just because I know her, I want I'm yeah. a defender naturally, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know how I go. But yeah, I mean, but I I let's just take it out for her. Let's okay. just talk about scamming in general. Okay. Is oh, it wrong? Is it wrong to sell a course to niggas? It's wrong to sell a course and on again and on a thing that you've never done, meaning this, right? Um there are dudes, again, especially in the black community, right, where they are selling a course on, on like, how to get rich in real estate. Right. And these niggas ain't rich in real estate yet, right? Right, right, right. So, again, if you are somebody who really got rich off this shit, cool. Or say, hey, nigga, listen, here's how you can make $30,000 a year in real estate and sell that course. Cool. But to say, yo... Here's how I made my first million off real estate. Here. Now, that's a scam, right? If I say, yo, here's how you can build up a YouTube channel to, to like one million sub. That's a scam. Because why? Because like I ain't there yet, right? So again, and I have no issue like with the course being sold. Right. But sell the course for, again, for, for some shit that you did, you know? Okay. All right. 
All right, so let's get into some other shit, man. Yeah, Look, man, man, we got <clears throat> man, you out here from No Jumper, man. Yeah, let's do it, man. I want to ask, I want to ask about a couple of different things, man. Sure. Um, academics, our brother, man. He went, my nigga. He went, he went and told a story about his ex stealing five hundred k from him, and I would, I, and I was just thinking, like, God, damn, that got to be one of the worst L's a nigga has ever taken, right? Facts. Have you ever been? Well, first of all, what was your reaction when you heard that? Because I, I know niggas all across the world was like, "God damn!" Like, because when you when you listen to the story, right, and you just see how trustworthy we can get with our ladies for sure. that to happen, I know he'll never be the same as far as trusting anybody. Man. But have you ever? Number one, sure. what's the reaction to that story? And mm -hmm. have you ever dealt with a woman that did some shiesty shit like that? Man, so one, God, thank you, I ain't never dealt with a woman like that, bro. Hey, listen, I'm a peaceful guy. <laughs> but a bitch take 500k from from my mom mouth, man. Listen, man. <laughs> How you gone? You feel me? Are you done? You feel me? Somebody said I would have been a hundred thousand dollars lighter <laughs> knocking that bitch. <laughs> I'll tell you, bro. Man, listen, man, bro. Listen, bro. Like, listen. And and two, bro. I told Act, bro. Don't trust no DMV bitch, bro. I'm t listen. The DMV it stands for Dirty Mobile Vagina, right? I'm telling you, bro. These hoes is, bro, these, listen, bro, like, these hoes pussy is so grimy, bro, is detachable. These bitches are slurs. So I bet so act this. But then two is this, right? My initial reaction was, like, as an act fan, um, we had this whole movement, man, called Hard on Thoughts. Meaning, I remember this. Meaning, bro, like, because of academics, bro, like, and I had hoes in, in the spot, bro, and, bro, and I'm feeding these hoes frozen curly fries. Tell them bitches, bro, bitch, you can't warm it up. We hard on thoughts. That frozen like curly fries, stuff dick in you, and bitch, you got to go, right? I know this wasn't no black queen. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know this could have been a black queen, you talking about. Oh, come on. No facts. Okay, go ahead. No facts, right? No facts, right? No, listen, so, no, so, like, I was always by that model and thought that act lived that model. Right. But you being this young kid at college making videos from your dorm room with pent up anger about bitches is is a is a little different than making millions and having access to any woman you want. Yeah. At some point, right, like you can grow soft. But here's why, and I told everybody, bro, is we need to protect act because if academics go we all die and right and 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 <clears throat> here's what i mean right so act because he was like the trailblazer for this whole independent media shit facts is a direct threat to 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 the infrastructure right if you have niggas like us who are independent and don't listen well they need to get us the fuck up out of here, right? So academics right now is the poster child for internet nigga, right? And he shields all of us internet niggas. And he's the only one with the resources like who can withstand and stand in like in all the attacks, right? And shield us from it. The second they get academics out of here, that leaves us now vulnerable. And make no mistake about it. How it's taking them years to take down academics? It's gonna take them two weeks to, to, to right, like right, <laughs> right, right, ASAP, ASAP, right. So if academics go, nigga, we go. So mm -hmm. I'm saying, hey, bro, it's funny and cool to like you know laugh at the joke, blah blah. But when do we stop laughing? Is when they go ahead and hop on Twitter and have a coordinated campaign of multiple Twitter. Again, like um, uh, pages, right? Yeah. With one million plus followers, and they all post the exact same video and saying, "Oh, here's the audio of the girl getting raped and screaming." <clears throat> when it was a fake audio, one, two, the audio was actually of academics' current girlfriend being kicked out the house by 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 um by by like the cops are screaming, mm. right? But multiple pages with one million plus followers at the same time posted the same video and said this is the girl getting raped at academics house yeah that was so, foul yeah. so obviously is a coordinated campaign that's coming from the very top of the infrastructure right and i'm saying yeah like we can focus on him sipping 
But when do we start focusing on that and start focusing on y'all? They trying to get academics out of here and we have to protect that nigga. Well, how do you go about protecting somebody that kind of black? It's like he's on an island by himself, really. Hell nah. Listen, listen. And when I'm I say him. island by himself, I mean he's his own entity. He's his own powerhouse. He doesn't really rock with none of the big corporate media structures. Sure. He's his own structure. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Great, right? Great, right? But us as independent dudes can protect academics by, bro, like, again, by, by, by like, seeing a clear agenda, a clear coordinated attack, and coming on our platforms and speaking up for them, right? Like, instead of us, like, hopping on and laughing at the 500K or the bitch and the other niggas' money, on, right? Yeah. Say, oh, hold up now. That's funny, but if we all, like, it can come on in our platforms, and routinely speak up for academics and speak up for all the slander, all right? Like we bro, like he'll be good, man. But like if these people uh allow us to deviate from act, if these people allow us to like stand alone and don't connect together, <clears throat> bro, it's over for us. Yeah. Fast. Now, now in that clip. He mentioned that the Y'all girl know. texted his meat out to several people, Adam yes. 22, and then your ass jumped online and commented on his meat, nigga. Yes. Do you regret this? <laughs> they was no. on your ass in the comments. No, I don't. Question for you, big bro. Yeah. Do you know a uh, Jamaican with a small dick? I don't know that many Jamaicans, but I, I don't really, I wouldn't know. Well, come on now, bro. Why would I know, nigga? I don't know. Look at the nigga's meat, bro. <laughs> Dude, wait. Do you watch porn? Yes. All right. Now. When you watch porn, do you keep watching if, if it's a nigga with a three-inch dick fucking on a big booty bitch? I'm watching straight lesbian porn. Man, man, man. Bro, 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 oh my, bro, why do we lie, my nigga? Man, come on, bro. I'm finna lie, nigga. Man, come on, man. man. I'm now, lying, listen, bro. now, listen, I bro. understand what you're trying to say. I understand what you, that's not the point, though. The nigga, the point is, it is the point. Nigga, though, right? How did you see yes. that nigga's meat? That's, the, that's yes. all the niggas was trying to. Yeah, yeah. Yes, look. So there's a rumored video that's already been. been oh, out somebody there. leaked the video. Of academics, ex girlfriend. Gotcha. Uh, Him hitting his girl. Yeah, like she posted like this video at, on her and OnlyFans where people were, were like, speculating that that was act. Now, Atasha K, she made the video like here. So, like, <coughs> I personally would never have. Like, have like spoken on it, right, right, right. But Tasha K did like an interview with like Selena Powell, right, and she referenced that video. Oh, gotcha. And said he he had a small pipe, gotcha. And I'm saying, from 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 what I watched, real yard man, you feel me, man, right? Real real yard man. And if niggas call me gay for <laughs> observing the obvious, then I'm gonna say this. So why do y'all like? Type in BBC White Paul. Y'all want the big black cop to fuck <clears throat> your bitch. Y'all want to watch porn like that, you right? Is, yeah. Right? Right? Again, if we turn but on this porn is what right makes, now, But this is also what makes you great because you just don't give a fuck. You're going to say. I don't. The, I, but you don't. But that don't get to you when niggas is on your ass? That don't get to you at all? Listen, right? So, wait. Okay, right. So look. I'm just asking, I'm just curious. Yeah, right. So, yeah. so look. Is it gay to think it or a gay to say it? No, it's not gay. It's, you're only gay if you're gay. I right, mean, facts, facts, yeah. right? Facts. Now, two is this, though, right? It don't bother me because I, I know, bro, they all think, bro, they all think the exact, listen, bro. That's, but what I'm saying is yeah. people don't say it. You say it. That's why uh, you're great, uh, yeah, right? You're going to say the shit that niggas yeah, ain't going to yeah. say. But what I'm saying is when you do say it and yeah. you get the criticism, does it, do you internalize it? Do you, does it, do you even give a fuck or is it? Hell no. Nah. Listen, 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 bro, listen, bro, listen, bro, <laughs> listen, bro. A year and a half ago, man, I was working at a fifteen dollars an hour document processing call center. Now I get to come here and fuck with y'all and speak for a living. That's loud. Yeah. If you think some nappy niggas gonna make me feel bad about giving giving my pen, nigga, yeah. fuck no, yeah. fuck no, right? But I'm just honest and say shit, shit, bro, that they want to say, yeah. right? Bro, bro, fam, listen, bro. There are male brothels in Jamaica where it's six foot three skinny niggas with 12 inch dicks who, 
who fuck white women for a living. And you mean, you mean to tell me a country where white women flock to from all across the world on a daily basis to, to fuck an all nigga brothel. And you telling me that, that like, th them niggas got like small dicks? Listen, bro, and even if I didn't have the video and the evidence and the proof, I'm still saying, nigga, ain't no Jamaican got no small dick, nigga. I got you. You just, you just taking up for your partner at the end of the day. <laughs> That's man. just what that is. I already. That's my nigga, man. <laughs> so how that. do how do y'all know each other? Like y'all y'all been cool? Y'all met on the internet? Like how uh, did... no man. So uh so okay. So I was a chat nigga, right? Okay, got you, got you. Got you. Mad, like, I, bro. I, I'm talking about like, bro, like back to Skype days, right? Right. Um, and then when I started like my own shit, I like took a break, right? And then they got to like Discord. And cause I was like in Skype under like, like again, my like actual name, Frederick, right? Yeah. That he like didn't really know like who, right, like who like Poetic Flacco is, right? Yeah. So then when I came on No Jumper, the fans started saying, yo, there's a nigga who stutter like you, who talks like you, your same mannerism, inflections. This nigga is dick riding trying to be your son. So then he was like, Forced to speak out and said no. Like everybody had the adjustment period where where like where like they're trying to like find there. You feel me? Right? So right? So, and he could have very easily said, yo, fuck that nigga, man. You feel me, right? But he embraced me. You feel me, right? But even bro, even for that, bro, like I've been a chat nigga, bro, like since like what? Since 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 like 20, like 13. Right. You feel me? So yeah, bro, bro, like listen, bro. I love academics, bro. That's live. No, no. Like I say, man, shout out to Eck, man. Mm -hmm. he, he out here doing his thing. Now, I got to ask about the, um, just the no jumper in general, right? Like, mm -hmm. it seemed like the whole, you know, you had your AD wave. Yeah. Now you got the Brick Baby and Crip Mac, you, Sharp, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, you, were you there for both waves or did you yeah. come in? So you were there through both waves? Yeah. I got you. So did that... When when you saw the old crew, because I loved AD, bro. Like I yeah. loved him with the with the platform. I loved yeah. the dynamic. I love the new dynamic too now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's just different. Sure. Um, what happened from your perspective? You know what I'm saying? Did man. you try to get in and stop shit, or man. was it just? Man, listen, man. Listen. So it's the same way Julius Caesar fell, right? It took a raggedy nigga, man, right? But but you talking about lush. But <laughs> but it was a raggedy cracker. You feel me? So what happened was, um, from Adam's perspective, there was a point in time where he didn't feel like the dynamic of the Tuesday show would still work. So he wanted to take AD off, right? So, he, so Lush at the time was, was like, on the Tuesday show, it was Lush, Adam, House Phone, and AD. So he's talking to Lush, and you mind you, right? At this time, and house phone, and had the whole situation, right? So like he's, you know, like gone, right? So he's talking to Lush as like, as the only like, you know, right, like co-host left, right? Outside of AD. So he's talking to Lush saying, yo, I'm thinking about like, you know, like taking AD off. And he says some things like he, he like only has like four jokes, right? But Lush took that information now. Now listen, if, again, if Lush would have took that, right? So look, if Lush would have heard it, and pick up that phone and say, yo, AD, he said this, Lush a real nigga. But Lush picked pick up that phone, went to Discord, and told fans this. But Lush was telling fans this to tell the fans, I'm in more favor than AD, right? Like, my spot is more secure than AD. He was bragging about it. Right. So hence the fans now. Before Lush could even like hang up that phone, bro, was was calling AD and saying, "Yo, AD, right?" And he said, "No, no, 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 that." Yeah. So AD told Adam this, but AD never said Lush said it, right? Cause he's not no snitch. So, so, so at this point, AD is more mad about the fans knowing about his job security before him. And Adam was like, bro, I only told the other co-host about this, like, right? Like, um, um like, uh, right, right, like, um, right, like, it's like not the fans, right? But like, Lush for something, bro, I just don't understand, bro, like, to this day, bro, like, I don't understand. Why would you take information right. that's set in a private work chat and 
to some fans? Do you think that clout shit, the clout demon just gets a hold of everybody? Bro, listen, bro. I knew that clout was a real thing, right? When I'm sitting in, again, I'm sitting in on a podcast, right? Again, back then, right? Because at that time, like, the Reddit was a big thing. And I started to realize that people were now, like, being dictated by the Reddit fans, like, opinions of them, right? Bro, I'm sitting in on a podcast. We talk and giving hot takes. I look up at the chat and see, like, the chat is, like, I'm, I'm talking about, like, attacking the points that one host is making. And, and almost instantaneously, the nigga, uh, a whole new opinion. And I said, damn, bro, like, and it was at that point, I'm like, bro, like, what are we doing here? Right, like, what are we doing here now? Right, like, like if we're podcasting, I'm just, listen, like, in order for me to actually, like, like, have a real discussion and yell at you and scream at you, right, I have to believe, bro, that, that, like, that like, you actually have those opinions. So when we are on the same fucking couch together, and your opinions are being dictated by, 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 by like the fucking fans and shit, bro. Mm -hmm. And it was at that point I said, okay, like the end is near for the dynamic that we currently have right now. Right. You feel me? But you know, listen, bro. Like, um, I feel like out of and everybody like that like left, right? I, I feel like AD was the biggest hit, right? Yeah, AD was it was confusing. I was like, yeah, when you bro. know when you see no jumper, you see AD. I, you, you seen AD. He was like the first spinoff yeah, yeah, from Adam. Me. You know what I'm saying? And he was likable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so bro. Like it just threw me. I, I just never, I just never envisioned no jumper without AD. Bro, bro, <laughs> like, and he held things together, bro. Like, and he was the glue. So I mean, right, like, yeah. like, bro, like, like, bro, like, bro, like, when some nasty street nigga, right? had conjured up a mixture of a concoction of Reggie, Perk 30, saliva, and acid, and leaned all together and hurled it at me, right. AD was right there, right? So AD was, was like the protector of a lot of those things going on. Now that he's gone, I was like, damn, bro. It's just wild, wild west, isn't it? <laughs> no, man, but bro, I don't think that AD and, and like Adam issues are so deep to where they ain't never gonna speak again. I, I think, bro, that again, I may be naive, but I think we're within the next year and a half, we will have an AD and Adam reunion, man. Yeah, we got it, man. We need that, bro. Cause that, I ain't gonna lie, like, one thing you gotta love about No Jumper, the platform mm -hmm. is, we see the Vlads, right? Yeah. When you see his channels, all Vlad. Mm -hmm. We watched Adam create all these personalities, yeah. these shows. We've never really seen somebody just go live Monday through Friday. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And create these different, these different shows, man. So to see that happen, man, that kind of was like, damn. Mm -hmm. No fact. <clears throat> but um, how did you get so popular on those? I'm just curious. Like, what what was it that? When did you know you were a hit? Because a after he left, I feel like somehow your star started to shine oh, oh, super oh, bright. What? That's what it felt like. It felt you like so? after he. That's what. That's why I felt like. Mm -hmm. The Flacco era oh, kind of oh, yeah, like okay. took off. That's what, from my perspective. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Damn. Bro, listen, bro, bro, like, fam, bro, like, I still don't feel like I'm, you know, right. I'm lit yet, right? Right. No, man, but bro, like, I, I feel like, like, my rise, right, like, came, bro, because, like, I forced niggas to have an opinion, meaning, bro, like, you is either gonna think, think, bro, that I'm a bitch ass nigga. You fucking hate my guts, or I'm the realest nigga ever, right? Yeah. And I feel like that's what kind of like helped my star, right? Cause like for example, bro, like some niggas, bro, like they come, they speak, and like just not again, like like they speak and they talk, but you don't really hear nothing. Yeah. Right? Why? Cause there's no really like right, like there's no opinion there, right? Yeah. It's playing the fence and playing the fifty. Yeah. Me, I'm gonna call my nigga and give an opinion. And be firm on that opinion, right? Yeah. So and you take you take stances that niggas just won't take. Facts. <laughs> Why? Because they scared, right? Well, no, because you just have a different. Everybody's playing one side, right? The gangster side. You playing mm. the civilian side. So a lot of niggas don't want to play that side, even if they believe it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's where you you're gonna win. Like you say, ninety percent of niggas really standing uh, on us. Side. I know. Wait, 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 wait. 
Are you a gangster no, or no, a... No, 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 no. We civilian. civilian. Yeah, for shit show. Yeah. Right, would you snitch? Um, I wouldn't even be in a position to snitch. No, 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 no. Like, like, like I wouldn't. So, I would wouldn't. Would you tell? No, I wouldn't, bro. Not if I... Why not? I um, Because when you're saying telling, you're saying me and you did something together. And I'm telling on you to get out of it. No, or listen. Listen, or listen. Um, we ride it in the car. And that raggedy, funky nigga who you just have around, you feel me, right? And showing mad love to. And he have a gun and on him, some drugs on him, right? Mm -hmm. The cops pull you over and he stashed that bitch in the car. And they took y'all both out and find that gun and charge y'all both with guns and drug possession now. I'm not gonna say nothing, but I'm gonna look Shit. at the nigga like, bro, you better Shit, bro, you better take that. Up, man. Hey, nigga, you better <laughs> go on, got take me fucked up, nigga. I feel you, bro, but it's just like, man. I don't know. It, it ain't got nothing to do with no gangster shit. It just, I just, you know how like two niggas when you a kid you get in trouble and you just eat eat it for your bro. Hey, man, I got it, bro. I'm gonna take the L or some shit. I'm not gonna take the L like that, but nigga, if we stash and shit, nigga, take him. it, take <laughs> your charge, nigga. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I, wait, wait, wait I look, but. If he dumb man up to it, he said, listen, like, they Mars, I don't know how they got there. You feel me? Got my lawyer up and see, see, what, see, what, my, see what my options are. You got to go down that road. <laughs> I but see, but see, but I heard. Okay, so, mm -hmm. you know, niggas say there's, there's two things, telling and setting the record straight. That sounds like setting the record straight. That don't sound like telling. No, hey. Hey, nigga, <laughs> this ain't my gun, nigga. Hey. <laughs> listen. No, 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 no. Setting the record straight. No, 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 no. We're the right, cool. If then it adds up no, there, nigga, and, Flacco, would you take the stand and point a nigga out? Hey, it was him right here. Bro. That's 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 what we talking about. Bro. Would you get on the stand huh? and say, that nigga right here? <laughs> bro, listen. Bro. Bro, I am fiending for the opportunity to do so. <laughs> nigga, is you out of your mind? Nigga, is you, bro, is you out of your mind? Nigga. Bro, I can't wait for personally death trial to start, nigga. Nigga, what? Yo, Anna. Oh my, bro. Hit, listen, Russell, look. I, I, I have seven recordings of him DMing me in bandage mode, doxing me, talking. Oh yeah, oh oh yeah, this is him. Yo, bro, bro, I can't, bro. Listen, bro. Listen. And, and, and like, I have the stands, right, bro? Because I think that like. That snitching is the only way, right? Yeah. That us as black folks can clean up our community, right? Cause look, cause look, cause look. It can shut this, right? Cause look. If it's five criminals, right? Right. Like, but chances are, bro, like, listen, bro, like, if we catch one, yo, bro, like, again, if we catch one. The tool of snitching is the only mechanism to where if I catch one, bro, I can get four now by saving one. I'm being real. You see, he trying to knock five niggas off the board. <laughs> I'm being real, l l bro, 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 like, right, bro, like, bro, bro like, bro, and, 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 and like, and, and like, listen, right, and like, and all the rats are are like the toughest niggas. These rats, bro. Listen, bro, these look, killers, bro. But look, right, right, so look, right, so, right, so look. Like, there's a dude, right, who I fuck with him. I, bro, I love this nigga, man. Called Terrence Gangster Williams. That's who we, that's, that's our brother. I love that nigga, nah, right? No, this nigga, you know, that's, that's. A word? That's, yeah, we, I can call him right now. Yeah, yeah. So, look, I'm gonna call right, him after this. Right, so look, right, so look, bro, look. Bro, I was on the clubhouse really violating niggas, right? <laughs> And these niggas said that Terrence Gangster Williams is a rat and can't come back to the city. I said, hold up now, bro. When he was a free man, he was terrorizing you bitch ass niggas. He was killing you niggas, spanking you niggas, whooping you niggas, fucking y'all bitches, stealing y'all drugs. And the police got him locked up. The cops saved you bitch ass niggas. Now y'all telling me, right, that after 20 years in jail that he comes out now and and now he's doing podcasting that. Now y'all think y'all tough? Now he, wait. Now Terrence Gates the Williams, bro, who got like 20 bodies and, and under his belt? Uh, now, way more than that, bro. Like 80 something. Bro. Yeah. Bro. That's my point, though. Allegedly. Right? 
<laughs> no, right. No, no, no. Right, though, right? Right. And that's my point, though, is now these niggas is calling and him a writer saying, and saying that he can't come back, nigga. But who going to stop him from coming back? Right now, two is this, though. Right now, two is this. The street niggas can't go to war with us. Why? Because we will shoot you and tell on you. Nigga, you can't beat it. Look, Russell, look, Russell, look, Russell, look, Russell, look. That's an infinity stone. <laughs> look, 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 look at this. If we got beef, right? Yeah. And I see you, I can shoot you, and you got to be quiet because you a real street nigga. But if you see me and even did it up a gun at me, nigga, hey, nigga, hey, Taquavi is white is out this bitch with a Glock and a switch. Do you think they need to modify the street rules a little bit? It seems no, like an, he shot me. Hey, it seems like an unfair advantage, bro. I ain't gonna sit here and exactly lie. Exactly my point, right? So wait though. Exactly my point is an unfair advantage. So, bro, all street niggas should say, hey, listen, nigga. Let's embrace telling, cause why, right? Cause look. <laughs> you said hey, I think they've been doing that, bro. <laughs> as, as we can see. No, no, no. <laughs> facts, <laughs> right? No facts. But bro, too though. But bro, like. We was always told there ain't no rules uh, in the streets, right? That again, that's and cool. right, and we was always told there's only one rule, and that's survive, nigga, make it out, right? Yep. So, if me surviving is me telling the tell on you niggas, how's that out of bounds, right? Again, if me saving my own ass, if me staying free is telling on my ops, how is that wrong, bro? Listen, bro, look, how the fuck is it out of bounds? But but they yeah. but, but here's the thing, mm-hmm. right? Like you say, we're civilians, right? Mm-hmm. The street niggas are gonna say you can't understand because you're not in that lifestyle. It's 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 like like even when we talked to uh, Terrence Gangster Williams, I mm-hmm. asked him, bro, are you a serial killer? Mm-hmm. Right? Because if you got all these alleged bodies, he said, Damn it's right. like being he said it's like being in the army, right? <laughs> it, that's how they look at it. They they not. He said, I never killed no innocent person. I never killed no. I only we only went to war with the people that was going to war. So when I heard that, I was like, that makes that makes more sense because it's like it's a you know, we go on to war with the niggas that are street niggas. We're not killing no innocent. So can we really speak on yes. snitching and shit like that yes, if we not on that side? Yes, right. Yes, right. Yes, right. Look, it's because the street shit, bro. And I honestly think it's because it's illiterate elementary school dropouts who are crafting these laws and principles, right? That it makes no sense, right? You mean to tell me, all right? You mean to, to like tell me that I don't get a DP if I see my op at the red light and I start busting on him in open daylight and traffic and kill a baby. I can still come back to the hood and hide out. But when I snitch, that's where you're drawing the line at? That. Wait, wait, bro, I'm confused. See, you're using logic. And that's the problem. Exactly. That's my you're point. using logic, and I don't, I, there's no logic in the, the other shit. Yeah, it's just, it, it isn't no logic. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, come on now, bro. Neanderthals, thoughts, man. That shit crazy, bro. So, let me, let me ask you this, man. Um, you got a blog out that says why hip hop is doomed. Why yes. Hip hop media is doomed. Yes. Explain that a little bit. Sure, right? So, look. So. We're at a point where, again, like, it's a conversation that, like, we had, like, probably, like, 30 minutes ago, right? Where is, there is a clear civil war going on right now. Is the infrastructure is getting sick and tired of these niggas who escaped the plantation trying to show other niggas how to escape it as well. Meaning this, right? Academics was fired and accidentally stumbled onto YouTube. And showed and showed all of us, hey, bro, we like we like, bro, like we don't need no like corporate dollars, nigga, right? Grind it out and on your own. But then in turn, there's the house niggas and who said, man, bro, where, bro, like where else would I get more paper than this? Right. Where else would I eat better than this? Right. Who else would treat better than this? Right. So now there's still the corporate niggas who still working for Masa, right? So. We are both in the same industry now, right? Now, if you're in hip hop media, you have only one obligation, and that's to the audience, to give authentic, real opinions to the audience. Right. So now, if you are somebody 
who works for the infrastructure, you now have to conform to the rules of your station manager, program manager, the executives who's in bed with the record labels, who is subservient to the artist. So now your opinions now is being filtered and conformed because you got to keep a check. Right. So hence, if now they no longer is serving their obligation to the audience now, yeah. we need to get them out of here. But at the same time, we're trying to expose the niggas who are Masa's favorites. The infrastructure is taking us down. But guess what, though? They're taking us down at a faster pace. Mm. So at this point, nigga, we doomed. Because if they're taking us out at a faster pace, then eventually like, what's going to be left now is niggas who have conformed, sold out, and took the check. And now dumb niggas ain't giving no real opinion now. Dumb niggas are agents for the system that exploit black talent. What do you say when YouTube blocks? I've seen YouTube take uh, some of our videos down for but, saying certain things. Of course. Speaking on, you know, I ain't gonna say it because I don't even want, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you think about the actual, the Facebooks, the YouTubes, the actual platforms censoring us? Yeah, listen, right? Bro, like, hey, right? But like, this is, but like, this is like why, right, bro? Like, I say, right, bro? Like, um, like, we need our own, right? Yeah. Right, like we need, like, bro, like for example, bro, like if us niggas think, right, that 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 like we will ever have a platform and on YouTube where we can come online and speak I, I, again. I'm talking about the real spill. Meaning, like for example, right, right, like you say, hey, fuck the nigga talk. Let's talk that real shit. The Rothschild, you know, let's let right. you feel me? Right. Let's talk that real shit. Bro, we would never have a platform to talk that real shit, right? So hence now, you have to choose now, right? Is being able to reach a larger audience, but having to like tweet the message just 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 just, just a tad bit, is that worth it? Or is that selling out? Right? That hey bruh. I have to tweak this message just a little bit, but I'm doing it so so I can still have ha, like have access to y'all, right? So hey, bro, listen, me right now, I don't know. You feel me, right? Like, right, like, you know, I like I haven't really like ran into like real issues, but I take down like most live streams where like I'm wilding out. And you feel me? Now, I got to ask you about Cat Williams, man. He went up top of the year, yeah. 25 million views in three days, going crazy, yeah. exposing the whole uh, the whole comedian industry. How did you feel about that interview? Was Cat out of line? Was he telling the truth? What is your thoughts on that? Bro, I was real skeptical, right? And within the first, like, five minutes, I said, God damn, bro. Like, crackhead energy is back, right? When this little, <laughs> when this little nigga told us, man, that he got accepted into college at seven years old, that, that like he ran a 4.140 yard dash in his prom, that he can currently run a 4.340 yard dash right now as a 50 year old man, that he read 3,000 books from the age of eight to 12, that he plays 19 and 20 year old D1 basketball players every day, and he's 92 and six versus them. I'm like, all right, bro, like, crack on that shit again, man. <laughs> bro, like, crack his back on that bad salt, bro. That nigga cat right now, bro, is high out of his fucking mind. But, again, there's two type, types, types of, like, crackheads. Like, Jaguar Wright and, uh, and, like, Cat Williams, right? Is yo, you just unfiltered, right? But there's still a little mix of, like, right, like, right, like, right, like, right, right, so, like, there were some things that, like, he said that I said, oh, this sound about right. <clears throat> Steve Harvey with the fake toupee. I didn't right? know that, bro. Bro. I did not know that. That was crazy. Listen, bro. Bro, 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 listen, bro. And that's what I told y'all earlier today, bro. You, bro, you can't ever trust a wide nose big lip nigga, man. Because, bro, who would have thought? My nigga, bro. Bro, bro, like, bro. 
the Steve Harvey fro was a cultural staple, my nigga. Yeah. Bro. Steve nigga. Harvey lineup, all that, man. Nigga. Yeah, that was a letdown a little bit. But bro, <laughs> it was even like, bro, like what's even like more sinister is that this nigga could go on a daily basis knowing he was deceiving us and not give a fuck, man. <laughs> bro, can you imagine my nigga? Right, like, I'm coming to you, bro, listen, right, so look, if, if you got, like, bro, mom's walking to you, bro, and saying, yo, man, like, my son got his first haircut today and got the Steve Harvey cut, man. Uh, bro, nigga, the kids are saying, yo, I got my dress cut, big homie, because I was trying to be like you, man. And this big nose, wild lip Negro, took all the praises, all the accolades, <laughs> and was going to take that shit to the grave. So that I believe. Now, the bullshit of him, him and Ludacris was, was like in an Illuminati meeting. And they offered him, or them, uh, 10 million dollars for, for like 20 movies. No, sorry, it's 20 million for 10 movies. And he said, hell nah. And the only stipulations was, you guys have to cut the beard style y'all have and get a light-skinned, ugly bitch to marry. And you telling me that Cat Williams was in the face of $200 million with a bad crack habit, and he turned it down? Man, fuck out of him. Man, stop him. Listen, listen up, bro. Listen, listen up, bro. Yo, bro. And even the niggas with the most integrity who don't trust a good white man, even them niggas, bruh, if you put me, this pro-black nigga, and in a room with a good white man who's, who's offering me 200 million. Why would you be in the room with a, with a white hey, man, pro-black hey, man? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, what? Bro, guess what, though? Yeah. It, bro, it already happened, though. I'm telling you. Right, so look, my first month in, in LA, right? So you had to move to LA to be on No Jumper? Right? Yeah, okay. right? So you didn't live there initially? No, right? Gotcha. So look, so, and Adam picked me up, right? And bro, I'm talking about, bro, I'm talking about, nigga, bro, I'm ecstatic. I'm like, right? I'm like, right? Like, right? Feel me, right? And he's friendly, but he's silent, right? And we just driving, right? Like, like, uh, like, uh, we like stop. And it's this like huge, like Scientology building looking like thing, right? This huge cathedral. And we walk in. Again, he's not saying nothing. It's a long hallway, right? Like, like we just walk in. Like, like, right, like, uh, like, uh, we just walk in, man. And like, it's like A, B, C, right? Like, again, like, right, 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 like, um, there's like huge like red letters on the doors, right? Cool. So, so like, we walking by like three minutes now, right? Feel me, right, right? Again, bro, I'm fat, I'm stinking, I'm tired, bro, right? And we get to the door K. I, I said, I said, bro, like, like, what the fuck going on, right? So we open and, and like, and up the door. And there's this tall, I'm talking about like six foot nine, like white dude, right? Salt and pepper. So I'm like, what the fuck going on? So Adam sits, then I go and sit. And they ask me, bro, do you want to sell your soul? At first, I'm like, bro, I'm offended. Because why would y'all even ask? <laughs> damn right. Damn right, nigga. Damn right. <laughs> Nigga, damn right, nigga. You're pro black, nigga. You're a <laughs> capitalist, nigga. <laughs> nigga. Nigga, damn right, bro. Bro, I told Adam, nigga, bro. N bro, I need no confession, nigga. Damn right. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Right? And, bro, listen, man. Hey, man, feel me, man. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. And from that day, I don't fear no nigga. You know why? Bro, I got a white man on my side now, my nigga. Fuck with me if you want. It's over for you niggas, but fuck with me if you want, man. L.A. Yes, L.A. Gang culture in politics, bro. Is yeah. that something you had to get used to? 
Hell no, bro, bro, look, hey, right, listen, right? Because even if you ain't trying to be in the mix, you can just be, you can accidentally, we went out there, nigga, you know, wearing blue, hey, man, what, what you, you, you know, nigga pressure, you like, God damn. See the hat? Yeah. You feel me, right? Yep. Brick mm-hmm. Baby said you got to wear, you got to be careful what hat you wear out there. Facts. But listen, right, so look, right, so one is this, bro, like, bro, like, like, after I made, bro, like, my first, like, $1,000, right? Bruh. Bruh. If I even, like, smell a nigga, like, and who sound like they like this. <laughs> like, bro, I, like, bro, 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 like, bro, like, I have no tolerance, my nigga. Right? I mean this, right? Bro, like, like, I'm in, like, like bro, like, in, I'm in, like, no environment where, like, I have to deal with, like, with a nigga, like, and who looks like he's, like, right, right, like, and on bullshit, right? So, for me, it's, like... I skate by because one, I'm not around no trifling niggas. Right. right? Two, I make it openly clear with no surprise. You do this, these are the consequences. Right? You come and try to be tough with me, make threats at me, I'm not playing with you niggas. You will do 100 years behind that. You feel me, right? And hey, and somehow the biggest, baddest gang members and and like and on the planet, who like who, like who have no regard for human life again, the biggest, baddest ones, who who have no regard for other black lives, they somehow respect it when when, when, when like you say, hey, I got the white man body, I'm a tell. Somehow, these niggas who were savages got no senses in the streets. These niggas are, are, the, are the, the, the drug dealers, the killers, the savages. Somehow the savages with no sense when dealing with other gang members, somehow they somehow grow sense when you tell them, I'm not playing those games. Right. I'm telling, right? So me, bro, I skate by me by, by, you know, just being myself and, you know, again, the same, bro. I'm not playing by your rules, man. Leave me alone. Yeah, but how, for somebody who's going to L.A., right, and mm-hmm. they knew... How do they kind of stay out the way, right? They, they might just be wanting to live their life and stay out the way. Because you see, from our perspective, right, we look, look at the news. You see niggas getting robbed in Mero. It's in prominent places oh, yeah. in L.A. you like, how does a nigga get robbed in, in yeah, Hollywood? Yeah, like, sure, listen, listen, bro. <clears throat> listen, bro. Man, fam, listen, bro. If you have $1,000 in your bank account right now and, and you in L.A., you were at a stature, nigga, with $1,000, nigga. Where you shouldn't be hanging around where two or three niggas gather, meaning, bro, where two or three Negroes gather, I don't want no parts of. Meaning, a casa, the movie, the store, the clothing store, where two or three niggas gather, I, I'm not going. So, where do you go? Huh? So, where do you go? Uh, the home vegan restaurant. Uh, right, right, like, right, right, like, you feel me? Right, listen, I used to be at the Target before niggas figured out, feel me, right? Now it's fuck talking, right? <laughs> right? No facts, so right? Now, nigga, I'm at Costco now, right? But as soon as niggas figure out that Costco is a thing, I'm not going no more, yeah. right? So if you in LA and you want to avoid trouble, where two or three niggas gather, stay away from. Because again, bro, if you have a thousand dollars to your net worth. <laughs> Why are you smelling niggas, man? You feel me, right? Cause one, right, right, look, hey, right, look, right, look. Do you see Logan Paul, Jake Paul, um, Rice Gum? Are they getting into LA trouble or, or right, robbed and beat up? Why? Why? Cause they hang with you know a certain hue of people, right? He said hue. <laughs> I'm being real, right? Yeah. Listen, bro. LA is a it's a beautiful place, and there's one group of people who make LA treacherous. And who the group of people? Niggas. Hey, man, come on now, bro. <laughs> nigga, nigga. And hey, niggas, man, come on now, bro. The facts, man, come on, say, man, come yeah, on now, bro. Yeah. I'm telling God, you, man. Damn. So, man, let me ask you this, man. What does Flacco got? Coming up, man. Like you got your poetic, uh, you got your poetic Flacco channel. Yeah, y'all man. no jumper. You doing your thing. What all? What all can we expect from you, man? Coming forward, bro. Bro, hey, man, hey, bro. So this is like a listen. So like this is like an exclusive, man. 
So when everybody left, so No Jumper kind of like got rid of all podcasts, right? Okay. Well, I, I, well, right. So like, I think it was like yesterday. Adam hit me. No, it was uh, on Thursday. A, he hit me and said, "Hey, listen, I want you to bring back a podcast." So uh, we have a, a, a podcast dropping and dropping right, um, and on No Jumper soon. Yeah, bro, bro, like, outside of that, bro, like, my, bro, like, I'm trying to build, like, my personal brand, bro, right, because, bro, like, right now, bro, I'm at 136,000, right, bro, <clears throat> by the end of 2024, man, I'm trying to be at, at bro, like, in, at, like, 500, man. Yeah, it's so, gonna happen, it's gonna happen, bro. I, I need that, man, come on now, what do you 500, think? man. What do you think, what interview or what thing you, do you think you got to do to make it happen? Because it only really take one crazy interview or one crazy viral moment for you to get all those subscribers bro man bro n- listen bro so look so um I, I don't even think that it's an interview right like bro like I, it's like for example right like uh, i'm now like kind of like transitioning now into like the video essays right yeah. so like bro like you know if i just get that one like i, I talk about like, like uh right so look right so look right so look like uh Trevor Rawls like and like uh and like had the King Von shit right, mm-hmm. so if I like bro if I just get that King Von shit right like just one video, I'm out of here right. You did do the um um you no, did you, a documentary from Dolph right? Yes. <clears throat> Listen, okay. it's one point seven million views right now, but but again. Why did you stop? Like when you have that much success doing something, why why would you, you would think that you would just keep going like? No, right, hey, right, cause look, cause like hey, right, cause like I ran. So I ran like like I ran like the young Dolph shit like to the ground, bro. Like, I, I'm talking about, bro. Like I made like, bro. Like I'm talking about like hundred videos about that shit, right? So now though, like people like come to like my like like my like channel, right? Like for like um for like breaking new shit, right? Like when I drop like like when I drop like like the documentaries, like some do well, but most floppy, right? You feel me, right? So you know, I, you know, yeah. That's crazy. Man, Flacco's in the building, man. Before we got to go, I got to ask one thing about the um, – I want your personal 2023. Who had the best podcast? Like, give me your top five my, podcasts, wait. either personalities or shows that you had. My top five podcasters? Hey, uh, I'm going to do – the No Jumper show was, was a good one. Uh, the second, I'm going to do the Joe Budden podcast. Three is off the record. Uh, four, I'm gonna do men is material entertainment, mm. and then five, the last one, man. Who's the fifth best podcast, man? Listen, so like, okay, right? So like, um, this, like this, like this, like, here, so like this right here is like, is a podcast that's like non, like hip hop related. Yeah, it, it's called um um. It's called, it's called, it's called, it's called like um, Tiger Belly, right? It's like, uh, it's, yeah, you feel me? It's Kalila, it's Bobby Lee, right? So like, that's like a comedian shit, right? So like, yes, right? So I'll say, yeah, so like, yeah. So it's No Jumper Show, it's Joe Budden Podcast, it's Off the Record, it's, it's Menace Material, and then Tiger Belly. Would you want to see Everyday Struggle with uh, Joe and Act come back? No. You think that's, that, that phase is gone? Because that, no. that was crazy when it was, at, when it was here. Yeah, right. Because right? look, because at that stage, in, in like, so at that stage, right? So Joe was like the hungry, I'm fighting for the people. Right. This Joe is taking calls from Cardi B and canceling podcasts, right? So even if it does like reboot, act with like the young, naive, like an industry dude being schooled by Joe, who was like who had this like vendetta and grape against the industry. Now Joe is is, you know, like he's like the industry man now, right? Yeah. And Act is no longer naive, right? And he's not rich. So like what dynamic would, would like, right? Like, you feel me, right? So nah, bro. Like now, if you say poetic flacco and academics. Let's do that, right? Right. Where it's now. Y'all gonna get canceled two weeks in, nigga. <laughs> that though, right? Right? What though? No. 
right, right, right. So look, so um, so me and him know are locking in <laughs> January twenty sixth, right? And that'll be my life. First time meeting him. And doing a podcast. Now, that shit gonna go crazy. That's gonna go crazy. Man, and, and I just wanna salute you, bro. You flew all the way out here from, from yeah, LA, man. bro, to come tap in. You hit us, hit us up, tapped in, and really flew out here, bro. I really appreciate that. That's, yeah, that's some real live shit, bro. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to go out there tapping with y'all. Yeah, man. man, please, man. Come For on, sure. man. I, I'm gonna definitely do that, man. Show us around yeah. the city. You feel what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, please, man. Come on, man. Fuck with us, man. Man, who do you, now, who do you think you would like to see on this couch, man? We didn't had it out, man. Trappers, scammers, everybody, uh, uh, media personalities. No, Listen, like, so, so look, it's one dude, and this is like my dream interview, right, where after I interview him, mm -hmm. I'm done interviewing people. Jay Electronica. Mm. Yeah, we never talk. Exactly my point, right? Bruh, if you get him here and really have him, like, talk that shit, man, it's going crazy. Even this interview, bro, listen, trust me, bro, listen, listen, trust me, bro. When this shit drop? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, yeah, you man. Be, you, you, might, you might have, yeah, you pissed a lot of people off, oh, Flacco. Man. God damn it, Flacco, man. Hey, man, this has been one of the craziest interviews right out the gate, man. My boy Flacco yeah, from man. No Jumper Poetic. Hey, man, tell them where they can find you at, where they can follow you at if they're yes, not sir, familiar. Man. Hey, man, YouTube Poetic Flacco, Instagram Poetic Flacco, Twitter is Flacco Poetic because a whole ass nigga stole my username. Right, so yeah, man. Man, go and give him the five hundred dollars, man. Get that shit. Man, man, come on, <laughs> man. Nigga, thousand, man. <laughs> bro, I'm bro, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Every obstacle that we have to overcome, bro, is starving niggas involved, bro. Like, yeah. like come on, bro. Like, <laughs> nigga, bro. Like, how, like, this thing is not pro black at all, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> man, come on, like, like nigga, bro. Yeah. Like. A fucking username, bro. Like, you think man, come on, nah, bro. The nigga re he beat you to the punch. He said, I'ma get the nigga name and wait to stall him out and get this thousand dollars. Man, bro, that's just scandalous, man. But hey, yeah. but folks, man, listen, man, please, yo, like tap in. Yes. Hey, hey, when this shit drop, it's it's gonna go crazy, man. It's going crazy, man. Hey man, we got that boy Flacco from No Jumper in the building, man. This is the best part. You are a real life street star, man. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes, sir. Come on, man. We're gonna get the drop real quick.